Okay, um, I may be live. Let's see. It's been a little while and there was an OBS update since the last time I went live. So now I have a bunch of pop-ups that are stressing me out. It is so hard to do technology. Let's see if I can get are you here. Is anybody in the chat here can confirm I am live? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, okay. I will just start going. Hopefully this works. Hello. Okay, I'm getting a hello in the chat. That's good. Okay, hello, you are live. <laughs> Whoa, hey everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start uh, this one a little differently. We're on week two. We're on week two. Craven, you're awake. I thought you were sleeping. Hey, how you doing? Um, I am. I actually, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks. This is not going to be like last time stream with Caleb where that I think was almost four hours of streaming. I'm hoping we can be a little bit faster here. Draven, are you staying awake for me? <laughs> so nice of you. Um, but yeah, it's week two now. And uh, for those of you who don't know, last time I streamed, we did Caleb to end off the uh, weekly rotation of these different families and with that i actually added in some mods but also story progression is that what they're calling it neighborhood stories whatever is happening now in the game i have not played with it i tried to play a little tiny bit with it yesterday but i've been so stuck in like a sims 2 mindset i can't stop playing the sims 2 i can't pick up the sims 4 for the life of me um but i am today but the, all that to say is i'm a little bit nervous about what that story pro progression is going to do to this neighborhood because i've been seeing on twitter it's been decimating some people's saves with like a hundred babies for like one family the land grabs in particular also seem to be getting a lot of uh babies in there their household, so I'm kind of nervous to see what it does. I turned it off for all of our like queer Sims, uh, just because I yeah I'm a little bit of a like a controller um, with the Sims that I actually play with. Um, I'm so happy to see you again and that you can do the stream this Sunday. Hey Audrey, yeah, I'm glad I was able to do it as well. I didn't mean to cancel. I was trying to take a break for one week, but it ended up being two weeks because my power was out. Um, the one day that I was supposed to stream, which was pretty wild. It was out for like over 12 hours and it was very cold in my house without any power. <laughs> um, hey everyone in the chat as well. I'm just trying to explain the setup here. So we're in week two now. This is actually a screenshot right now. I'm trying to share, this is my first time trying to share a PowerPoint on stream as one does, of course. Um, so I'm just going to go through what we did with Brent and Brant last time we played as them because that was like months ago it feels like now i'm not sure what the date was but we did play a lot of families in between there so i thought it'd be good if i kind of recapped what happened the last time every time we're about to play the family for the second week um so of course yeah this is brent and brant you already know that if you're a simmer of course um what we did with them last time is first we took them out for a little date at the club um, Brant had actually taken up the hobby of photography, so he was taking some photos of the club. But this one makes me laugh because Jeffrey looks absolutely absurd in this photo to me. Like, who makes eye contact like that at the club? I don't know. This man, apparently. Um, otherwise, we gave Brant some gym buddies, so he hung out with Simon Scott and Makoa. Um, can't pronounce that last name right now, but I think it's Kaloha. I don't know, I'm trying. <laughs> um, so we gave him some buds there. He also ended up going to the Geek Con with Makoa and bought some festival t-shirts. So really you can see we worked on Brant's social life. Brent on the other hand, didn't give him any friends in this one. Um, and then we also closed out um, the the week with going on a date to a restaurant which went pretty well actually we were served so that's cool it took a while but it was good this was just a a um, restaurant that i found in the gallery also i realize a lot of people that um watch the stream are actually builders as well if you have any uh builds that you want to give to me i again gallery noob here trying really hard to figure out how to work it um, but if you have any builds that you want to submit for this i really want to build up my new crest um, and specifically i want new crest to be like a gay village i think i might actually do a building stream or do it off camera i'm not really sure where i try and like make some like coffee shops and, and or bookstores and like clubs and stuff like that to put in new crest that have like some more gay vibes for my sims to go to um, but yeah, if anybody has any builds that they want to contribute, please let me know. I like this restaurant, but it's like, eh, 
I could replace it. It was just like the top one on the gallery that I found. Um, anyway, yeah, so the day went well. I also realized that this is Jody. If you watch the stream of the Greenbergs, this is who Knox ends up like, who were kind of, you know, they may or may not get together. So I thought it was funny because I didn't notice this until I went back and looked at some of my screenshots for these guys that he actually uh, was yeah, generated to be a uh, staff at the restaurant that we went to. And then, yeah, so of course, Brent promptly was went and pranked the only restaurant toilet that there was. Um, if you remember, that didn't make the hotel, the almost said hotel, the restaurant staff very happy because they all had to pee and the one toilet was broken. Um, so that sucked. I actually included one of my mods is to stop them from automatically pranking toilets. I might indulge my goofball sims and actually like tell them to prank toilets in the future, but this was kind of my tipping point <laughs> um, on top of playing with the cottage living guys because Ian is a goofball as well and I'm just... I'm done with it. I'm done with it for now. Um, and then, yeah, last uh, slide here is just showing that uh, Brent also got promoted at his job. Um, so was working on his painting stuff. So while Brent was very job focused, Brent was more of a socialite kind of kind of person. Um, but yeah, that's it from last week. Um, hope this was kind of helpful. I don't know. Y'all might have already been there, so maybe it's not super helpful, but um, I already forgot what happened last time we streamed. So I thought maybe you'd all would like a reminder too. Um, I'm just going to switch over now to maybe the game. Yeah. Oh, no, but I don't got a face now. Okay. Give me like half an hour to figure out how to get my... Nope. This is tiny game. Gotta love me trying to do technical stuff live, <laughs> live on camera. All good. All good. Um, okay. Let me figure this out. Also, hi, everyone in the chat. Um, yeah, goofball sims really were the, the bane of my existence. Um, how are you doing today? I'm good. I feel like I should have prepared a lot more for today's stream, to be honest with you, but I, I couldn't be bothered to open up The Sims 4 at any point this week. I really am so stuck in The Sims 2 and I'm trying to get sick of it, but it's like, I played maybe like probably 10 hours in like one sitting yesterday of the sims 2 when i told myself i was just gonna play for a little bit and then open up the sims 4 but it's so hard to change i don't know it's so hard to change tasks once i'm like super into it um let's see what is the problem with my camera this is weird y'all can't see this right like you can't see my face right now wondering if let's see Oh, it's saying it's like super tiny over here. That's interesting. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to re-add my face back in here one second. You've been like that with Sims 3 lately. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter um, have like done like a resurgence of the Sims 3, which is like really nice to see. I feel like that's a good game. It deserves a lot of credit and it deserves all the sales that it seems to be going on as well because it's so much better when you have all the expansions and stuff for that game. Okay, let me... Uh, oh, what? Come on. I'm just gotta... Almost. <laughs> okay. I know that there's gonna, I'm so sorry to anybody who's gonna see the pixels that that's probably off. Oh, but it is. I was gonna say, I can't let it bother me, but it does bother me. I'll have to fix that off stream. It's gonna be a wonky border today. Okay. <laughs> a fitness expert tell me what the heck brand is supposed to be wearing i am not a fitness expert but i think that's supposed to be like those belts right the that help with your back <laughs> you know the belts otherwise that's just uh fashion peak fashion actually let me uh change up my camera here where's the camera in here camera Okay. 
we'll see. I don't know which one's going to be easier for me in this transition. Um, okay. What we got? Uh, building stream signed me up. You think that you want to be signed up for a building stream, but just wait till you see how I build. <laughs> um, and then you might change your mind on that one. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me see even what's happening with these guys right now. Oh yeah, the only other thing that I didn't cover in those slides um, because it actually happened when we were playing as um, the other families is that Brent is now in a club. Um, how do you get clubs again? <laughs> He's now in a club, which I haven't renamed yet to something clever, but um, I just put all the painting gays together in a club with one another. Um, which is good because again, he didn't have a social life uh, previously when I played with him and then also We have this mod in here, which we use a lot for Caleb and his uh, his dating simulations um, But I went in and I just changed it so that these uh, all the other families like all the other couples prefer exclusive relationships, so they're monogamous relationships for sure um and just because I, yeah, I don't know. I want to play them as couples. So I don't want to have to do polyamory. I don't know who gives off poly vibes in this. Uh, and I don't want to figure it out because I think I want to like leave all of my dating stuff with Caleb because that was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you all did too. <laughs> um, Blossom's still alive. Yeah, they all better be alive. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can generate your Sims attractiveness preference based on their spouse, by the way, if you want your non-Caleb Sims to be attracted to their spouse. I did that. I went in and I just um, had all of it generated based off of who they're with. Um, so I think we should be good. I don't know. I'm still like, I don't play with these mods outside of this stream, so I was still trying to get the hang of it, but I'm hoping that worked out. Also, I just realized it's like 5 a.m. and they're both just awake, huh? Awake and very hungry. Y'all go to work today? You do. In one hour? I don't know, take a nap on the couch then maybe. Is he barbecuing out here? Yeah, he is. Nothing like hot dogs for breakfast. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so that's it. We need to do a poll because I am going to uh, adopt a baby. Not a baby, sorry. We're gonna adopt a kid, like a I know, I'm trying not to use an age range. I'm, we're gonna adopt a, a kid for these two. I want your opinion on how old um, the kid should be that we adopt. Um, Audrey, <laughs> I swear she will die soon. No, 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 don't say that. Oh, geez, sorry. Um, it zooms like wild when I look in the chat. Um, no, no. <laughs> Blossom cannot die. I don't have aging on for any of these sims because absolutely not. Um, in my save, I had them adopt a son named Bront. <laughs> Yo, that's actually really funny. Um, oh, nice. He's making coffee. Love it when they do that. And then it just rots in the coffee machine for the rest of the day. Um, but you are going to work soon, right, dude? Seven minutes. Okay. So, you think I should choose a toddler? Okay, let me, um, uh, what expansion or game pack are you missing that you still really want? Oh, um, I don't know, to be honest, I've kind of, ba like, I've purchased the, the packs that I've wanted when they've been on sale. Um, I go back and forth on spa day quite a bit, I guess. So maybe spa day, but I'm not sure. Like I mostly want spa day because like I have kind of in my mind that that'd be like a cute date opportunity for Sims to go to the spa together. And then of course I'm always on the fence about Batu and if I'll get that. Um, but also those feel like two that maybe I just won't use that much is why I haven't got them. Um, toddlers are cute and funny. Okay, I think we'll do, I'm thinking, let's do a poll for like what age to adopt. Um, and I feel like I'm leaning towards either a baby or a toddler, but also, um, I usually adopt a kid when I, when I play, cause I, sometimes I just like skipping the annoying age and I don't think you can do, um, teens, right? I'm just going to put this out there. So we'll do it for this. Um, hopefully 
that is coming up for you. Um, you can just do a vote. We might leave this up open for a little bit. Like I don't need to adopt the baby right now on Monday. Maybe we'll do it on the Tuesday. And then once we kind of figure out what we're gonna do, well, I, I, I haven't adopted in a, in a little while, to be honest with you. I haven't played with kids in a very long time because it's like the, the let's play that I'm doing the most of, like there's no family gameplay whatsoever in. But from what I remember, it kind of like, it's almost like adopting a pet where like it pops up and it kind of shows you the different kids and toddlers and stuff available. So we'll do this to kind of pick the age range. And then when we actually are adopting, we'll do another poll to see who we want to get. Kind of if you did, we're at the cottage living stream then I'm I'm picturing it like that when we were adopting the dog and we um, chose. Granted, we ended up coming out with two dogs at the end of that <laughs> um, because, yeah, obviously there's some really good choices there. And I wish like this. Okay, I was gonna say I wish that you could have the kids come and then like get to know them, but honestly, that'd be so much harder for me to not just adopt all the kids when they come, because um, it's quite hard with the dogs and the cats too. I find. Rosie, what's your deal? You wanna like, wanna play a game or something, or is she just looking at him and running away? Also, after playing Sims 2, I find it so weird now that I can't click on Rosie and like see her profile. I don't know if I'll get used to this. <laughs> I think there's a mod for that for The Sims 4 too. The Sims 4 as well, I mean to say. Um, also, as a reminder, the aging is off when I play this. So I think when we do the toddler, it might be like if we if we get um, a toddler or a baby, I think I'll make them like age up after one week. And then maybe with the kid, We'll do like maybe two weeks or something like that as a kid because I'm also going to have to figure that out for the other couples that have children. I know it's kind of weird that I don't just put aging on, but it's like if I, because it's rotational play, I just don't want like the elder Sims to pass away while I'm playing as some of the other family members and stuff like that. So um, hopefully I can kind of figure out a good balance for doing it. But also, how is everyone? I feel like it's been a while since we've chatted. Anything new going on with everybody out there? I'm like, at least where I am, spring is starting, which is so nice. I feel like I'm like feeling revitalized <laughs> with like that spring energy. Draven, I'm great. Oh yeah? You got your computer coming soon too, right? I'm so excited to see you start making videos again. Audrey, you're doing good? That's nice to hear. I just got a new bed yesterday. Oh, nice. How is it? Did you? I'm assuming you slept in it this past night then. <laughs> is it good? I feel like new mattresses are like, I don't know. It could go either way. Because sometimes you got to like work them in. Oh, can you not drink your own pee outside? That's a little disgusting. Um, good. Going on a trip with my girlfriend on Wednesday. Ooh, nice. Um, are you guys going away for like a while? Um, like a week or something like that, or and it's like vacation and everything. Yes, Tuesday it arrives. Tuesday, nice. That's like that's real close. <laughs> mm, I was wondering how Toby was going. I miss him. Oh my gosh, that's funny, Audrey. I yeah. Tofu's interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to kind of play. It's funny because like Rosie, I feel like is such a, like a good dog. And I feel like when we play with Tofu, it's going to be a lot of chaos of him attacking people. Um, so it should be interesting. I'm going to mop this up so she stops licking it, which feels absurd to have to mop something up outside. You're going away for a week. That's nice. That's a really good break. Uh, I'm good. I've been really busy. Oh, are you like busy with like work, school stuff and everything or some hobbies? Mm, tofu are problematic fave. Yo, problematic fave. I did all the slides for all of the other families as well. And like problematic fave is literally written on Tofu's slide. Um, so it's so funny. <laughs> so funny that you say that. Um, and I have like in my mind, I have something I want to do with Tofu. I just don't know if it'll work out technically. So I'm going to try and build on that, knowing that he is somehow a crowd favorite, even though he's just a really aggressive bad dog. Um, oh, the frame is what's actually new. Yeah, the same mattress. Okay, okay, okay. 
Fair enough. I think I gotta get a new frame as well. Mine like it like squeaks no matter what I'm doing. Like I'm just I feel like I just lay still and I like move my arms slightly and my bed is like so loud it like wakes me up at night all the time. Um It's decent though. Oh, that's good. Uh, most school mostly school. My forensics team has a big meet on Wednesday uh, that we are hosting. Ooh, forensics team. That sounds very legit. <laughs> As somebody who has like a, a job that's just sitting at a computer using Microsoft Excel, anything beyond that sounds like really, really fancy to me. All right, what do we want to do with Brent's day off? It's your last day of freedom, buddy, before you're going to have kid, a kid running around. I said kids as if we're going to adopt like three toddlers. Um, that could be kind of fun, but uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I want to, what was I doing with him? I think I was keeping his paintings. Yeah, let's keep them. At least, um, oh, maybe he can start painting some stuff for putting into their kid's room. That could be cute. Because I don't know if I want to... I don't know if we want to turn this into the kid's room um, or his studio. Oh, jeez. Anything that's grabbable. And move I didn't even notice that they had a balcony over here until right now. Huh. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this becomes a kid's room or we like move some of the studio stuff up there and then use this as a kid's room. <laughs> Suddenly it becomes a too many toddler stream. Yeah, actually, I think they let you do those challenges with uh, pre-made sims now, right? So like I could I could maybe even do it with the can you stop? Do you really got to make coffee again? <laughs> um, let's see My new frame is a bunk bed <laughs> Is it like a proper bunk bed or is it like a loft bed where it's like the bed is at the top and then you can put the stuff under I mean, you know what that is because it's in The Sims. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah, toddlers are better on the first floor where the kitchen is. See, I at first was thinking because I was playing The Sims 2 so much because they can't go up and down stairs in The Sims 2. Like, I always have my kids' bedrooms on the ground floor. But I would agree, like, I usually do that or I do, like, a situation where they can avoid, like, the toilet. But I think we might be okay with the... Either or, let's just see. I wanna see how much decoration is in this room. See if I really wanna get into moving it. It is just a bunch of random paintings though, right? Cause he didn't make any of these. So maybe I would just get rid of them and then uh, put up his own paintings now that he's made. I think that could be good. Um, move the computer to the dad's bedroom, put the studio in the office. Okay, I'll do that. It would be good to add a bath on the ground floor somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if it would, I guess if we, no. I guess we could put like the sink over here and then put a bath there. I don't know how often we'll have to get them baths, but uh, yeah, I think this could be like a decent, it's true though, their bedroom is actually quite big, but I really, I honestly, I love these couches and I love like the little windows and stuff. Like, wouldn't that be so nice to just be sitting there? Oh. Um, yeah, we could probably put the computer somewhere in here. We could even get a smaller dog bed for our tiny dog that has like the biggest bed possible. And um, yeah, let's do that. We'll see. We'll see when they, when they, we pick a kid though, because I like to do a little bit of a theme to what they're interested in. Oh my gosh, I forgot we can drag food into the fridge in this game. So nice, a feature I miss. Is this really, this is what you, uh, this is what you're painting, eh? This is what I say when I said I want something for the kids' room. This is what we got: some dog food and cat food photo. <laughs> nice. Um, also, just a reminder: dog uh, toddlers can walk through the bigger doggy door, and it's the cutest thing. Oh yeah, don't they? I think they have. Well, maybe it's a little one because we got a little dog. Oh no, I think they can fit through this one, right, Emily? Um, if you could uh, have any Sims 2 object in The Sims 4, which would it be for me? It would be the uh, the Easy Bake Oven. Yeah, yeah, the Easy Bake Oven is a good one, actually. Um, that's a good question. I don't think there's really, like... I don't know if I have, like, specific objects in The Sims 2. Honestly, for me, it's, like, mostly just the functions of, like... Like, having kids play together and being able to, like, do the hangout thing where they 
Sims just sit around together and talk and like they can like play hacky sack together and like how the Sims 2 just has a lot more things that you can do with like four Sims together. That's what I miss the most about the Sims 2 and I wish the Sims 4 would have that. Um, in terms of objects, like I don't think that there's one that I really use. Well, maybe like the ballet bar. I think that's cute that the Sims like do ballet or like even the instruments and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's an actual bunk bed with a full-size bed on the bottom. Oh, I mean, that's good, especially if you have, like, uh, guests or something. Um, I feel like he's just over here going to make some more coffee. Yeah, you can, like, fitness. I'm not surprised that just came up now. All right, guys, I feel like you need to go out together. It's your last, like, night of freedom. Um, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, the one that I had, okay. Um, drag food under the counter or the food toddler can grab all the food themselves. Yeah, I've honestly, every time I play as a toddler in, in The Sims 4, it's like the parents don't even do anything. <laughs> I'm just like, it's me personally caring for the child, opening up the fridge, putting the food down, like doing everything. And I feel like the parents are just there. Um, I might try, I'm going to try and change it up for, uh, Oh, she also has two beds. The exact same bed. She has two beds and she's sleeping on the floor. Perfect. Love that. <laughs> Why do we got these giant beds for her? Okay. Um, what time is it? 3.30? Let's do... I don't know, like, what... I assume that the pop art ones would be the most, like, childish looking. So maybe we'll do, like, a... Let's see what the medium one turns out to be. But like that, oh my gosh, the coffee drinking. Maybe just take a nap. You go to sleep and then we'll go on a date tonight. Um, yeah, that was my reason for getting it actually. Nice, nice. Ren seems like he's be really into dad jokes. Yeah, of course, the, any goofball sim, I'm like, you'd be an absolute menace to your kids for sure. Um, in terms of dad jokes, in a good way. A menace is a good thing in this in this one case. Um, what is this? Nice, the apple pear photo in the bathroom. I guess it would have been like kind of hard to do for the developers, but I'm like surprised that more like painter sims don't have their actual artwork up in their house, um, in like the pre-made families. But I wonder if there's just like, maybe there's a different team of people that build the house and then they just put a bunch of paintings because they're into painting versus like having the ones that get credited to them making. Because I think, because uh, it'll say it, right? Um, yeah, okay. Actually, this looks like a really good one for a kid's room too. It's like a medieval... Actually, what is this? Is this cats and dogs again? Is there always this many um, cat and dog themed photos or paintings or am I just lucky <laughs> at this point? Um, or is it Brent is just obsessed with them? Hey TK, how are you doing? Let me put this one in. Um, I've literally been playing The Sims for the whole day. Nice, what have you been doing in The Sims? Oh, you could adopt a toddler and a child or pretend they're actually siblings. That's a good point. Yeah, because kids that are up for adoption sometimes come in as like pairs or more. Um, we'll see. We'll see what the kids are, which sounds bad. Obviously, every kid should be adopted in IRL. But like, let's see what the kids selections are for uh, these two. Um, and then I don't know what we would do. And I guess they could get bunk beds as well. I'm uh, just testing out some mods. Oh cool, what mods are you testing? Like testing to see if they work with the update or trying out some new ones that you haven't played with before? All right. Okay, wait, wait. We're just gonna date. You're hungry, but you're not hungry. So maybe not the restaurant. Let's go out to somewhere where you can get food. But maybe the food is not the focus. Quite frankly, my mods my mods haven't been working. Yeah, that's what updates are all about, right? Broken mods. 
which I feel like is the main reason that I don't usually play with them. Hmm. Yeah, imagine like a date at the vet clinic, my bad. Um, we could go to you, Saloon, Club Calico for swimming, but it's like winter. So maybe go to the city of Windenburg. I don't know. I feel like, uh, why am I so on the fence today? Let's do... Gosh, I don't even remember the order of any of these anymore. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go to Hanford. I feel like I use this bar a lot now, but it's just because I actually know what it looks like because we've been hanging out in it quite a bit. Um, new and old, and I was testing the extreme violence. <laughs> How do you find that? I've seen a lot of videos of the extreme violence mod. Um, not really my style of gameplay, but uh, I do enjoy watching people play with it because it's just absurd chaos. Um, I don't know about you, but when I play with Brent and Brant, they want make a baby. I think they will be happy to have one. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, I haven't played with them as that much to be honest, but um, I usually always have them have kids like in the background of when I'm playing in other save files like the save file that I have for like my transgender challenge, like they have, I think maybe three kids in that one. It might just be two, um, but I don't play as them. I just like kind of set up the families to have like kids and then I just leave them to do whatever. So you can order, let's do maybe some cottage pie. And let's hopefully sit beside each other. Oh my God, she's here again in the same outfit. Is this her winter wear? Like. <laughs> Oh, Rami, what's happening? Like, I just... What is this? This isn't warm. That's why it perplexes me. Like, is this winter wear? I might have to go into her, uh, her family and see what's happening. Uh, we already got our pills. Um, they were adopted together at ages four and six. Oh wait, did I skip something? Oh, that's what happened with my grandma and my great aunt. Oh, yeah. Um, my mother was adopted as well, but she was adopted by herself. But then her brother was also like her brother that she ended up with was adopted separately as well. Um, so they just adopted like two kids that um like weren't related or whatever, but kind of at the same time. Like related biologically, obviously they're siblings now. <laughs> um, Thorn Bailey, why are you out here in Henford? <laughs> I will never understand how it chooses where they go. Maybe we can do. Actually, I should have made this a date. Date. What am I doing? I know we have like no time because you're gonna want to sleep soon. But go on a date, guys. I do this every time. I'm like, oh, let's take them on a cute date, but then never actually select the date option. <laughs> there we go. What? Uh oh. These aren't supposed to be that color, are they? That makes me feel like this might be broken. I'm scared. Is this new? Somebody please confirm. Um, I, I do that with my dream life sims. Thank you. Midlife crisis. <laughs> that outfit. Oh, that seems like something. I don't know. She's too advanced for me. That fashion. Yeah. I don't know. We're not. Anyway, can you chat when you're here? Is this going to check off? Okay, yeah. That's weird. I don't know why it's that color. Um, the only time I've ever used extreme violence was when my uh, partner's ex was being ruthless in real life and I needed to release my frustration in a healthy way. Healthy for her anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of funny though. I will never understand. I know so many people will be like, yeah, I made like my enemy in the sims and then just like gave them the worst life and I felt so much better after. I c cannot relate <laughs> at all, but I find it so funny that people do that. Um, like I can only imagine when people were making this game that they did not intend for people to do that. 
Um, oh wait, I think I installed, wait, let me test. Yeah, I installed that mod where we can just like get people out of the conversation. Except for Thorn Bailey, apparently he might be immune. <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. Just gotta quadruple click it. And you, get back over here with your husband. Stop trying to be a socialite. It's your mods, maybe. Yeah, I think it is too. Is it Bear Knight? Nice. Honestly, uh, Brant is definitely gives Bear. Oh, yo, wait. I just realized I have body hair installed here, but I don't have any on him. Uh, just change sim. Uh, no, I make my couple able to have children biologically. Oh, like when, oh, when you adopt some, uh, uh, when you adopt someone, can you please give them a makeover in cast? What do you mean? Like you don't want them to look like the way that, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> You're saying like when we adopt the kid, you want a full makeover of the kid? But we don't even know what the kid looks like yet. What if they're really cute without a makeover? Um... And we're here to do the important work for Bear Knight. Um... Oh shoot, I think I need... Do I need... I, oh my gosh, where does body hair show up again? I feel like it's... I thought it was under tattoos. I feel like something looks different here, not in a good way. Oh yeah, we got new tattoos as well. Ah, cool. Oh, very colorful. I saw some of these on Twitter, so I won't go through them too much, but I, this is my first time actually seeing them in the game. That's cool. Is that it? I thought there was like way more. Am I just not scrolling? Oh yeah. I thought this was the end of it. My bad, my bad. Oh, that one's really cool. <laughs> nice. Love that. Oh, how did I end up coming off of that? That's cool. Um, so that's it, right? There's just four? That's interesting, because I was... Other Wait, is this new? Well, his watch is in the way. I don't remember that one. These flower ones look familiar, though. Interesting, interesting. Um, oh, I just met their outfits. Maybe their hairstyle. I saw them. In okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I understand now. Sorry. I, I thought you were. I think because you said the biological children thing, I thought you were talking about like making them look more like Brent and Brent after we adopt them. My bad. My bad. Um, yeah, no, I definitely like to change so that they have kind of cohesive looking stuff. I mean, when they're kids, sometimes I let them get away with... I really like this tattoo, by the way. I keep thinking about it. Um, but yeah, sometimes I let them get away with like looking a little bit of a mess as kids, as if they like um, dressed themselves. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I think people have already made videos um, about these tattoos. Eh? Um, but yeah, that's, we're, here. we're here to do this. Oh, no, is this working? Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. This is the vibe that I get from Brant's. Like full, uh, I think that's curlier hair, right? Yeah. Yeah, like we, we need like this level, 100%, 100%. Um, and then uh, Brent, what are you, bud? Let's do, what? I'm confused. Did the hair disappear for him? Why would you not have body hair options? Huh? Did the Sims really just say only Brant can have body hair? <laughs> I guess so. It's the same place, right? Yeah. Oh, and he didn't even have the top surgery stuff either. Maybe because he's not the one looking at the mirror. I've never noticed that before. Okay. I guess you're hairless for now, Brent. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Brent must be really into manscaping. <laughs> kind of gives that vibe. Like, he looks like he might be into swimming or something. He wants to be more like 
aer aerodynamic. I usually put the cutest outfits I can on them. Oh my gosh, the toddler backpacks? Absurd. Just absurd. So cute. Um, so I definitely get that. And I always need to change hot weather, cold weather outfits. I feel like you see so much of those that it's pretty wild that those can be generated into like anything. Um, okay. Oh, you have to be too. This is perfect. Oh, there. I feel like that bear was not there when we went into the mirror. Interesting. And we also got this alien here. How are you feeling? Celebrity sighting. The bear's just following Brent. Oh no, it's just going through the wall. My mistake, my mistake. So, one bear for bear night. Oh, and it looks like the gray gays are coming in. Nice. Oh, Mary, you having a hard time here? It's funny that the gays are coming in for bear night. All right. Oh, that's not your husband. Where is your husband? Oh, down here. What do you guys got to do? Flirt. Yeah, let's do some flirting and then we're going to have to go home. It looks like I don't think Brent can be awake much longer. Come on, go down there. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of packs, but I want to get more. Which ones do you want to get? I think we were just talking about that earlier, right? Um, oh my gosh, okay, now there's bears. Um, uh, please, please lead the conversation. <laughs> Now, instead of being in the conversation with these people, he's just staring at them while blowing a kiss to his husband. <laughs> Brutal. Wow, they really... Really? Okay. Who's in these suits? Do we know any of these people? No. So it'd be funny if it's like... Like Mortimer Goth is coming out for Bear Night in like one of these suits. Um, oh, Yasmin, okay. I thought that was going to be Yasmin Tinker. Oh my gosh. What's happening? We're surrounded. Guys, just interact a little bit more, please. There's an alien walking through the <laughs> through the table right now. Um, all the ones I don't have. Are you are you a completionist? Do you want every single path that the Sims has to offer? It's interesting. I don't really have that mindset. But I don't know, it might be like a, I don't know what I'm missing out on type of situation. Oh my gosh, guys, please. Please just stop talking to the bears. I can't even cancel them out anymore. The bears have officially taken over. This is like so many people. I just. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven people at this bar besides us. Oh, twelve, counting the bartender. No wonder people are walking through tables at this point. <laughs> That's me, and it drives me crazy. Like being a completionist. Ugh. Does that mean y'all have the kits as well? I see a lot of people like that decor to the max uh, kit that just came out. Looks pretty cool. Hmm. Come on, interact. <laughs> I know, Brent, you want to go, but you gotta. I mean, you don't have to, but I want you guys to have a nice date before you leave. You just gotta interact like one more time. I feel like Brent is already living the dad life with like his goofball personality and then also being ti too tired on the date. <laughs> like, that's weird. Why isn't it giving us the socialize? Maybe it needs to be friendly instead of romantic. I say it's never. Uh, but kits, but that's all I have to buy. I bought five 
bought five kits the other day. I said I'd never buy kids. Oh, I said I'd never buy kids kits, but I bought five kits the other day. Which, how many are there now? There's like nine or something? So which ones did you... Okay, we gotta go home. And this early. Brent is gonna crash any second. Um, which ones did you buy or not buy? I don't know. I feel like at this point everybody's skipping Bust the Dust, which is the one I was most excited for, and then now that I've seen how many people just have to turn it off in the end, because it's like, uh, busted, I guess is a good word for it. Um, it's too bad. I can't afford to be a completionist. Yeah, that's, that's very understandable. Even like, yeah, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, I could, in theory, like my job allows me to be able to buy every Sims kit if I wanted to, but like, my brain is also like, do I really want to spend that money for something I'm going to use like once? Uh, he must become flirty. You're far too tired for that, my dude. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh yeah, also, one of the mods that I did that I won't even be able to tell you what's from that mod is the whim overhaul. So there'll get whims, uh, like way more whims now, including whims from, because I guess how it works is the Sims team stopped developing, stopped, de stopped developing whims after a certain point of expansions. Like they didn't bother with some of the newer ones. So that's why you never really have any whims that are related to certain packs. I'm assuming Cottage Living would be like one of them because that's the newest one. I can't tell you the other ones because I'd have to go look at the list. Um, but yeah, I think this will kind of help me because I do like to play whims based in the other Sims games. Um, but it's really hard to do that in The Sims 4 because like, honestly, it's, I feel like the whim that I get the most is like buy a bee box and it'll be like, because it's spring. And I'm like, why does it make sense that every Sim in this game would want to have bees? Like I, I mean, bees are cool, <laughs> but I just feel like it, there's no connect to like the actual Sim and they'd all kind of have the same story if I actually played with the uh, generic whims. Um, let's get some hot dogs for breakfast. Yeah, the only whims I ever get are <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, oh, you did get the dust one. Um, Bust the dust, Carnival. Yeah, Carnival has some like sweet outfits for sure. Uh, Oasis, that's like the patio kit what one, right? And then decor, I assume you mean the new one. And something else I can't remember. Did you do Modern's Menwear? Oh, the plant one. The plant one, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I don't have it, but the wallpapers from Decor to the Max are pretty. They are. I feel like they'd be really good for even just like an accent wall if you didn't want to be Decor to the Max. Um, okay, my notification wall gets full every single time I play this. I don't know why it continues to tell me about it. <laughs> um, oh, you have to go to work soon, eh? I've also been called out at work because uh, I'm Canadian, but I, I work with like a global team. I've been saying A a lot more. Don't know why. Don't know where it's come from. But if you notice that on the stream, that's it. This is your dose of Canadian content. It's just me saying A repeatedly. I don't know why that's happened in the past month. <laughs> Uh, my opinion about the kit is they're okay. There's okay stuff in it and good, but it costs too much for the content in it. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Um, which is like, yeah, my whole point of view of like, it's good, but I'm gonna use it once and I feel like I gotta be like a little bit conscious of that. Um, I don't know why her food is smelling, so I'm just gonna replace that because it's kind of freaking me out over there. Oh, they need heating in their house. Adding a thermostat. Let's do it. I can remember where that is. Let's see. Um, electronics? Yeah. I don't know where. Great, incredible. Actually, will I be able to see this? Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, that way Brant can continue to walk around in his boxers and bunny slippers. Okay. Um, yeah, I think they stopped at her seasons. 
I think it is seasons too. I th- oh. the the mod page did say which one it was. I just don't have it up right now. And I, I seasons sounds familiar. I don't know if it sounds familiar because that's the one that I get the most whims for, including the B box, or if. Uh, but I think it's because that's actually the one that they stopped at. Okay, so it's time to adopt a baby. Not a baby, a child. No, not a child. I'm trying to again be like agnostic to the age breakout. <laughs> so I had to adopt a kid, I guess I should say. Maybe we'll wait for Brent to get home. That makes sense, right? What time do you get home? Five, five o'clock. It's kid time. Cause they, I think they come immediately in this one, right? Um, I thought it was just me. <laughs> you thought it was just your game like pressing the bees to you like being like you need you need to save the bees Lucy come on <laughs> like really laying that guilt on Let's see. oh yeah I want to do okay collecting collect a new crystal okay I don't know where the crystals are but let's go look finish a painting interesting we only did one collectible. I think I got him one frog. Yeah, yeah, we got him one frog last time. So let's go, maybe we can take Rosie with us as well. Who knows what her needs look like because I can't click on her, but hopefully she's down for the journey. And I think there's like a lot of crystals in, I wanna say like Oasis Springs, but I can't remember. Like there's a lot of the things that you like break open over there. Um, or maybe Strangerville? I don't know, I just feel like the desert gives off crystal vibes. Let's see. Let's go to the park. Alright, where's our girl? There she is. Oh, I'm seeing the pole right now. Um, Toddler is winning, but it's only 59%. There are some people that want some children too. Okay. Wow, 17 of you voted. Thanks for that. Very helpful. Okay. Let's see. It's raining in the desert. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I feel bad for taking Rosie out here now. Let's just pet her. She doesn't have an umbrella. Oh, what? Undying adoration. Oh, okay, he's talking about his husband. I was like, huh? And then he goes to like interact with Bess. That would have been quite the plot twist. <laughs> um, oh, nice. Yeah, go dig up this. <laughs> honka honka burning love from thinking about spouse. <laughs> Absurd. <laughs> love it. Uh -huh. I enjoy adopting children and imagining a backstory for them. Yeah, I think I often adopt kids in this one too. And it, like, I agree with you. They're like more developed. So it's like, you're thinking about the character more, but with their toddler, it's, or baby, it feels like you've like seen their life already. Um, quick question. Um, I never know how to say her name. Uh, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Yo, you know how like The Sims has definitely tried to make it clear that these are friend hangouts? They'll be like, I've been thinking about hanging out with so-and-so as a friend because everybody in the community was like, why are they trying to date all these people? And clarifying it, but casual friend time? Sounds like Netflix and chill. It doesn't sound like, it sounds like friends with benefit situation. Um, but yeah, Nox, go make the friend. Okay. Um, the downside of adopting children is that they might have bad traits like evil or lactose intolerant. I can deal with evil. I like an evil sim. Gay agenda has changed my mind. I enjoyed playing. Why are you stargazer or cloud gazing in the rain? Um, gay agenda has made me like playing with evil sims, but I cannot handle a lactose intolerant one by any means. Hey, Eric, how are you? I think, okay, yo, Eric, I think you deactivated your Twitter for like, three minutes probably at some point and like it was right when um me and audrey were looking at your profile or like had been looking for you or something like that and we both were like oh my gosh he's gone why did he go um and then you reactivated it like like right after or something like that by the way it's kind of funny <laughs> just so you know we're all very invested in your twitter activity 
Um, Brent and Brant are the only Sims that I never delete, break up, or kill. They are very untouchables. You know what? That's interesting, Javen, because, um, well, first of all, I don't ever do any of those things either. But when I, I have that LGBT video on my YouTube, cha this YouTube channel, where I go over the different couples, a lot of people commented saying that they always break up this couple and like, from what I've understood, it's a lot of women who make the, their sim selves and then break up this couple to like date one of them, um, which is interesting. So they like, I guess, headcanon them as bisexual and steal them from their husband. And it's like split. It's not always Brent. It's not always Brant. Like, yeah, could be either. So it's kind of interesting. I, I would not have expected that. But uh, some people have left a lot of interesting comments on that video because it kind of blew up. So then people have given their opinions on what they do with these like families. And I'm always like, like some of them, I'm like, what on earth is going on here? Um, obviously, I don't judge. You can play this game however you want to play. But like there's certain things that I'm like, huh. Um, apparently, it's a pr pronounced uh, Mike. Is it like Mickey? Because I was saying like Mickey before. But... I don't know. You know, like what I say in my head, I know that it's not going to be correct. Um, oh, hey, Vinny, how are you doing? Um, just jumping in on the whims. Yes, they started making them. Check uh, check out whim overhaul. Yeah, that's the one I have. I've used mods. Great for whims, emotions, traits, backs, and the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, that's exactly what I've been using in this one because I was just sick of always being told to buy a bee box, as Lucy was saying as well. So... Um, that is sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's interesting that people do that. I'm assuming you're reacting to like the Brent and Brandt breakup for the, for stealing one of them. I agree, it's very odd. Um, requires level 10 handiness. I didn't know that. Well, you can't do that. Avi could do that. Maybe I'll do that with Avi. Um, anyway, what else we got? Oh, these are plants. Um, even like, uh, I find it the only one that I'm like super skeptical of that people, no, there's a lot of things actually that people have commented on that video that I'm super skeptical of in terms of like what they do with pre-made like LGBT Sims in the game. But like, I've also seen like people will change Morgan's settings so that they can like get people pregnant or become pregnant or whatever. And I always am like, but why? you know like and i think it's like like a lot of people like wanting to use the genes of that sim because they find them attractive or whatever but i'm like why can't people just have like you know like i'm gonna say fertility problems but like different fertility options like why do you have to mate <laughs> mate with sims you know what i mean i think it's interesting and it's it's and i think about that a lot like not to get existential and i don't think there's like a wrong way of playing this game don't get me wrong. It's just like my brain is is processing some of these, but it's like when people like won't use the adoption uh, settings in this and they only use gender customization not to make trans sims or tell trans related stories or anything like that. And they only use it so that their gay sims can like biologically have children um, like there's a when people do that, I'm like, what's happening? Like, why? I find it very interesting. Um, I'm going to use the example of like English Simmer, who I'm a fan of. I watch a lot of her videos. She has like a, she did a cottage living um, playthrough where she had like a couple that's like a lesbian couple, um, but like one of them uses he, him pronouns, I guess. Um, but either way, it's like supposed to be like uh, two like f female sims or whatever you want to say, right? But then she like changed the settings so that they would have like a kid that was biologically related to them. And I find that interesting because like, you know, there is like a certain like want for kids to look like their parents, but then also at the same time, like, why change it up so that like your queer sims have like a heteronormative life of like having these biological children experiences i don't know it's very interesting just again there's nothing wrong with it i just like find it interesting because i don't my brain doesn't think like that i'm like oh like a gay couple adopting adopting is a beautiful thing as well like i would never would think like you know we're gonna change it up in that sense i don't know just just interesting <laughs> and obviously like you know if y'all are doing that and you want like brent and brand to have like hunky looking kids because these are good looking sims again 
no no shade no ill will against like people doing it i just find it so interesting is all um I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I'll come back later, though. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Just like I feel like I TED talked from when you said that to now, but uh, no worries at all. Um, I know that you know people can't hang up for this entire stream. I stream for quite a few hours usually. <laughs> I feel like this is all the gems that we can do over here, maybe. Oh wow, we actually did all ten though. But now we gotta collect crystals and front. Well, this is stupid. <laughs> it's not actually stupid. I'm being a hater. But like, why did I just have to do ten collectibles and now I have to do like the exact same ones again? I guess that's the whole aspiration, though. That's fine. We'll go out. We got time. Maybe we can do some like frogs in this Henford place. There's usually frogs. In this park. Mm. So when did we become enemies with Nancy? I don't remember that. Uh, we'll take Rosie, but I don't know how she's how she's doing needs wise. Uh, Morgan is goals. They really are hot. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. They are very good looking Sims for sure. Uh, the only couple I have broken up um, is stealing Bella from Mortimer, and I felt bad about it. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've ever, aside for like a video, I've never broken up Mortimer and Bella because like in my mind they're just like a couple because I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's what they be doing over there. But I don't usually like, yeah, I think I've only had my single sims go for like uh, single pre-made sims. Like I think I, we've talked about this before where I'm like Penny Pizzazz and like Vanessa, um, Vanessa Young are like used a lot in my um games as like the married into for like the women sims um i swear there was frogs here maybe it's just because you gotta go to the pond because we did this with kayla oh he's already at the pond <laughs> perfect um, oh, for, <laughs> this is cute with our little uh duck homies over here how many we need three? Oh, no we did it Okay, what's Rosie up to? She's just laying. She's just chilling along for the ride. Um, I've seen some people say that their headcanon is Morgan lost their junk because of the spell gone wrong. That's... See, I think we talked about this when we did Caleb, though, because I remember Morgan was there, but I think that their storyline should be like a Witcher one. Like in The Witcher, where you have to like, to do your like transformation or whatever, you have to give up like your fertility stuff. That makes... Oh, well, that was already done. Because otherwise, I don't know what spells they're casting <laughs> uh, for that one. Um, okay. Let's play together. Um, I used to make my guys have babies, but I'm more into realism now, so I only adopt, but that just been the last six months or so. Yeah, and I, like, honestly, when I played the, the Sims 2 and the Sims 3, I think I was very, like obsessed with like my sims looking a certain way like looking stereotypically attractive and i think i would like choose the like romantic interests for my like sims that i was playing as based on like if their genetics would like look good together for the kid and all this kind of stuff and since i've gotten the sims 4 i'm like you know what? i actually like it when my sims like look a little bit more unique um opposed to everyone looking like i don't know like uh influencers like in terms of like a stereotypical beauty and like also super into fashion and all that kind of stuff but it's uh it's interesting and i don't think there's necessarily like any and like there's not really bad genetics in the sims 4 anyway like the sims do like sometimes it got to the point where like the faces didn't even look like faces if you weren't careful because like that game let you um do a lot of extremes to the to the sims but like in terms of like having yeah just features that yo he's home it's time it's kid time. It's toddler time, actually, judging by this poll. Let's go. Let's go home. Time to get a kid. Um, I'm going to bring Rosie because I don't know if it automatically does. I think it was my first ever save and I haven't played the game bef ha hadn't played the games before the Sims 4, so I knew nothing about Bella and Mortimer. I just saw Bella and was like hard eyes. <laughs> For real. Um, that's fair enough. 
She also like, I don't know, Bella is like one of those sims um, to me and like, well, I don't know because I played all the games, like even from The Sims 1. So maybe I have like a skewed perspective, but like I look at Bella and I'm like, there's something to her. Like, I just feel like I'm like, she looks like a real person to me. Like she looks like she will have had a life, you know? I don't know why, but maybe that is because I'm so influenced by like all these. He pulled a muscle while playing with Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? You're jacked. You do your stretches. Like, what's happening? Your tiny little dog is like <laughs> making you pull a muscle. Oh, of course he's barbecuing when we get home too. Now what is it? We got baked potatoes. Great. Um, I was gonna. I was tempted to do like the better. There's like a, a mod for like better adoption in this. I was tempted to try it out, but like I didn't want to try and figure it out to be honest. So. I mean, we'll adopt with them. Maybe like, I might try and install it if we're thinking about um, one of the other couples adopting a kid. But it seemed quite complicated when I was looking at it and complicated things plus doing it live on a stream. Kind of scary. <laughs> so not this one. Um, why does Brand have a collector aspiration? They should have made, uh, they should have made more cats and dogs aspiration. Yeah, I don't know if it's just because like the dogs can like dig stuff up for you, but I don't even know if Rosie has that trait. Does she? Um, but I'm glad they don't have like the. I can't remember what the aspirations are for uh, the pet stuff. Because there are ones, right? Uh, oh yeah, friend of animals. I'm glad it's not this one. This one I find kind of annoying. There's something about it that I, maybe it's the last one. Yeah, feel the love with eight different pets. Be friends with 12 cats and or dogs at the same time. That's what I hate. I hate trying to maintain, even like the, the romantic ones. I'm like, how do you maintain friendships that well? It just feels very difficult. Um, woohoo wellness has the good adoption and stuff. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. I always get, whoa, what's happening? I always get wonderful whims and woohoo wellness like stuff confused. I have wonderful whims installed for this one. Um, uh, it's great how Sims 4 has more options for unique looks. Yeah, I would agree. Like even the presets themselves. Um, I like when they add more of those cause, uh, I'm not very original. I feel when I'm trying to make a face from scratch. I'm like, all my sims look the same. <laughs> uh, pay your bills, dude. Uh, I just opened my window because I'm doing my nails. I did not realize how cold it is until the wind came through. That's rough. <laughs> but that's good that you open your window when you do your nails. I feel like, I don't know. I don't, and then I'm like, wow, this is strong. <laughs> also, I was on the, I was on the train the other day. And the person beside me started painting their nails. But it was like, we're still like mandatory like masks on and stuff. So I'm wearing like two masks. And I'm like, it's like a long train trip. So I was like trying to like get some work done too. <laughs> and then they just start painting their nails. I was like, I guess it's fine because I have a mask on, but like, you know, I'm literally arm to arm with this person. I'm like, this is a bit intense. Um, Later on, she offered me if I she offered me some like gum. So it's like, all right, you seem like a considerate person in some regards, but like, I don't know, it's pretty wild. I also don't know who wants to do their nails on the train. It's kind of, I don't know. I can't do my nails very. Uh, like I feel like I need like a steady environment where it's not a moving vehicle first and foremost, <laughs> and then I need to also focus. Um, so it's just interesting. Um, anyway, we're adopting a kid. I wanted them to be like, kind of like, I don't know, sitting beside each other when they're making the call or something. Um, yes, who on this? The friend of the animals is my least favorite aspiration. Ooh, there's a compatible who wellness for wonderful ones as well. Oh, so you can do them together. I didn't know that. I love the smell of nail polish. That smell is not good for you. <laughs> um, my dad gets mad if I don't open windows and turn on fans. Fair enough. It's pretty strong. Okay, let's do it. I know how to do this. Right? Do I know how to do this? Is it service? It's not service. It is. Wow. A thousand dollars too, okay. Alright. Oh my gosh, this kid has sunglasses. They have sunglasses on! 
<laughs> How am I supposed to choose? Um, oh my gosh, this kid has really cute hair too. Okay, we got it. We're ending this bowl. Toddler won, by the way, for anybody who can't see this. And then we're going to do a vote for which toddler. Because I can only have so many options. So, which toddler? We got, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's not a toddler, that's just a kid. There's four, there's four of them, which is good, because I think I can only have five options in a poll. Uh, Kira. Technically, we can change the names, too, so don't get too hung up on the names. Um, if you have a suggestion, I'll take it. If nobody has a suggestion for the names, I'll just keep the name. Um, okay, so we got Kira, Ada, is this Rise and Chase? Chase? Is it Jace or Chase? Jace, probably. Um, the last one remind me of Vlad. This kid over here, this child. I'm gonna watch me accidentally adopt them. I think you mean this one, don't you? <laughs> Maybe that is. Uh, and their name is Wade. That's kind of close to Vlad. Not really, but like, you know, it's not not close. Um, so that's funny. Um, and Carl, that's a good name. Oh my gosh, okay, but does it not feel like Bryant is like made for this family? Like Brent, Brant, and Bryant? 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 <laughs> that might be the name that we have to choose. Even if we have like a daughter, it's still named Bryant. It could be like Bree or something. I don't know. I mean, all names are gender neutral, it's fine, but. Okay. Who we got? Ooh, we got we got a tie so far. Well, there's not like a consensus. This is interesting because I feel like when we did the dogs. Oh, Briar for a girl to match Rosie. Wait, to match Rosie. Um, I voted for uh, Jace because they have cool hair. <laughs> yeah, this kid's very cute. They all are. The sunglasses really get me on these two. This kid, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> she's giving me like, um, what's her name? Oh my god, Eliza Pancakes. Is that her name? Why does it sound fake when I say it out loud? Um, it gets, I think because it's the green shirt and then the hair. I mean, it's a different color. And then like glasses. Like I feel like this is like Eliza's kid. Um, I don't know like this kid's very cute and I feel like he I don't know he has good vibes with his little shirt I am our, I'm clearly very biased towards this we got if we get a tie I think we're gonna have to do two kids oh no Kira's pulling ahead is it the llama shirt I think that's what's I think that's what's getting it um oh Briar Rose oh I understand I thought you were saying Briar because it's like Brent and Brant Interesting. Um, why does it sound fake? Because she's a pixel. <laughs> Imagine someone being named Pancakes. I think it's like Eliza. I still have like, is that her name? I feel like I need to Google it. It's like, because I also see so many, like so many sim tubers talk about her in terms of like fake gamer girl and like everybody who hates on her. So like I've only really heard other people say it and I've never said it out loud myself. So it feels like I'm just like not doing it right. Um, I adore the llama shirt. Yes, that was the logic Briar Rose. I did not know that was a thing. I learned, learned something new. Man, every time it's not, I don't know when to close this. Every time it's not a tie, like it becomes a tie again. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do twins? I mean, I don't know if you consider it twins, but like, they're gonna be twins. It might be Kira and uh, Jace, or I can redo a poll of just the two of them. I don't get the pancake hate. Yeah, I don't get it either. But I think it's like, from what I get from this community, it's like one person will say it who has a big following, and then everybody like jumps on it, and then everybody likes it because it's like a fun kind of inside joke or whatever. Because I'm also like. Eliza's fine. <laughs> if that's even her name, she's fine. <laughs> um, and she is getting, right now she's the third top vote, so she obviously is doing okay in this poll, because this is obviously Eliza Pancakes right here. 
Um, oh, you're voting for Twits. Okay, uh, Jace is starting to pull ahead here. I don't know when to close this off. I don't know how many people are watching. I just want to make sure that everybody gets a chance if they want to vote. I don't want to peer pressure people who don't feel like voting, but I just don't want anyone to be like, dang it. Because <laughs> your vote makes a difference in this case because these two are so tied. Um, I thought it was because when The Sims was still newer, Eliza was the Sim who would be everywhere and always pop up. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if it's the same. I've never had Eliza show up in places, but I know people say that about Judith Ward as well. But like, I get Vanessa showing up all the time for my celeb. Um, yeah, Iggy is the best pancakes, and I will die on that hill. He really is. <laughs> it's good. I think Jace. Uh, Jace is probably gonna win. I don't hate Eliza, but I don't mind stealing Bob away. That's interesting. Bob, honestly, to me, like, got no interest in him in terms of, like, stealing him for uh, any of my Sims. Uh, my headcanon of Eliza is that she's a school teacher. Interesting. I could see that. I think, like, proper vibes also, maybe. But I don't think she could do, like, young children. Maybe. Who knows? Um, I think we're gonna do Jace. Um, he's sweet, adorable dad bod hubby material. <laughs> yeah, he's a good looking Sam. It's just like, I think it's cause he's like a lazy and a, he's lazy and a slob, right? I'm like, nah. Um, I also, sorry, I thought it was gonna make me confirm. I didn't realize I just clicked their name and then it automatically goes, but uh, that's it, we're picking them. <laughs> It's very abrupt for me. Maybe I needed that mod so that I could like ease into it. Oh, I thought this was the adoption person. It's just somebody standing at the end of our lot. Just chilling. Yo, if I was inside my house and I saw this person out here like this, I'd be like, uh, you good? You good, Alex? <laughs> um... Eliza gives major English teacher vibes. That's funny. Who, what? You know who this is? Alex Moyer? I'm confused. I thought this was a random generated townie. This is like a real sim. <laughs> a real reoccurring sim. Man, I wish they could both go together. I, I wonder if the mod does that. Um, Cause like, why is it just Brent? Oh. Alex is in everyone's game, she's immortal. She's the roommate you would get during the tutorial temporarily. Oh, based off of a dev. I've never done the tutorial, clearly. Um, do we want to keep Jace's name or did anybody have a name suggestion? Do we want to try and do, is Briar a unisex name? I mean, like, I don't care at the end of the day, but do we want to do, do we want to change his name to Bryant like this? I'm so scared I'm going to accidentally click accept. I guess we can change their names at any point. Or Briar. Oh, I can't put Briar here because there's not enough space. Or do we want to keep Jace? I'm making y'all do a lot of polls here. I hope it's not annoying, but. So we got uh, Jace Bryant. Briar other Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this one short though. Um the immortal sims Oh Bryce! Oh dang it! <laughs> I could have got that in the poll too. Um Bryce is a good one because I feel like it kind of combines his current name but then makes it into a branch name. Like, Jace, Bryce, Brant, I don't know. The Immortal Sims are baby Ariel, oh yeah, yeah. Who I've never seen, where is she? Oh, I've seen her, but maybe not in a while. Uh, Crumple Bottoms and Alex. I don't know if you can delete Alex. <laughs> oh, but if you delete the other three, they come back. I know that the Crumple Bottoms are like, they, they uh, respawn very aggressively. Um, also, my, I don't know if you can hear that. My neighbors are like super loud upstairs all the time. So if you ever hear like a weird glass shaky sound, that's my light going absolute, like my ceiling light going like berserk. And it's like these kids upstairs are like doing a full WWE wrestling tournament up there every single day of my life. 
Um, oh my gosh. Y'all, we can't be tying again. <laughs> Keeping the name and going with Bryant are tying right now. Please. I just need one more vote. We're at nine votes. Can one person break the break the tie? If you don't mind. Either way. Or do we just keep his name like this where he has both? <laughs> um Oh, y'all like Bryce too. Ugh, should we redo the poll with that? I like Jace because that's what all his parents left. All his parents left him with. Eric! <laughs> trying to make us cry? <laughs> what is that? Um, y'all, it went from nine votes on a tie to like 13 votes, but it's still it's still tied. <laughs> um I get I get annoyed when baby Ariel moves to Henford. Like why? <laughs> Maybe there's some TikTok challenge that you need chickens for specifically. <laughs> That's funny. Man. Y'all aren't helpful. We're staying on the tie. But the option is middle name. Yeah, I think we can leave it like this then, right? When you do middle name, do you put it with the oh? Bryant just pulled ahead. Okay. So when you put a middle name, do y'all do like just cram it into the first name or do you put it alongside the last name? Because we can do it like this. So I feel like oh, this has just become a poll for which name goes first now because I thought there would be like a clear winner. I just pretended my head. Hmm. But if we do Bryant Jace, then he technically is BJ. So I think that's good. Oh, you like it the other way around? Okay, we can do it. Because then he's JB, like Justin Bieber. As if that's a selling feature. Which is just a fact. He's like Justin Bieber. Now we got BJ, <laughs> JB, who knows? <laughs> I think BJ has connotations. It certainly does. Well, Bryant is technically the winner, so we'll put it first. We can always change this. I don't know why I'm being so intense right now. There it is. Oh my gosh, this kid is so cute. Um, but he only has socks on and he's still in, he's chilling outside. Let's pick him up. Oh, I used the wrong guy to try and pick him up. Oh, this kid already has my heart. All the toddlers do. Oh, I didn't realize that it gave family leave to the one who picked him up instead of both of them. Did that give? Oh no, okay, I think they both got it. Never mind, never mind. I think I just saw the notice for only Brent. Let's go here. What? No, you're supposed to go there with the kid. That was the point of picking up the kid. Do I have to like say put down kid over there? Okay, we're in the poll, by the way, since we did already uh, name the kid. Sorry, my zooming is stressing me out as well. Um, I'm going to pretend this whole combo is a debate Brenton Brandt had just now. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, he's very cute. Okay, now we just got to... I don't know why you're going back outside, my dude. Yeah, go say hi to him. No. Don't kiss your husband. You're feeling very flirty, but say hello to your new kid. Um, I don't know. Get to know. That's fun, right? Oh, we should get to know him too. What is your trait? Inquisitive. It's hard to have banana peels. How does he already have like lower manners and empathy? Oh well. It'll even out. Okay, cool. Let's give him a little outfit makeover. Obviously, we're not touching that hair because it turned out very, very cute. Uh, what are we doing? Change them. Actually, let me try and see. I just want to see if Brent is the one to go to the mirror, if it lets him have body hair. Oh my gosh, look at this kid. He's dancing. Too cute. 
Is there an interaction where you can like introduce him to the dog? I think that'd be like, actually they probably already know each other because they're in the same household. But I think that'd be very sweet. Oh, wait, wait. Let me get a little dancing pick of him before. Uh... Oh my god, y'all dancing together. The lighting in here is horrible. Not good at all, especially not for his skin tone. Let's get better lighting so you can show up better on my screenshot. What? Did that not work? Oh, there's already a huge light in here too. Why can't I see anything? Okay. He's looking kind of sketchy. <laughs> it's a bad facial expression. <laughs> it's fine. Here we go. Aw, he's looking at Rosie. I'm ignoring the entire chat here. Because <laughs> I need to get good picks. I'm just going to get Brant's butt in the pick, but that's fine. Yeah. Because that light is trash. <laughs> Uh, let's see. It's the fact that he. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, okay, what's up? Oh, why is he talking? So cute. Stop it. Uh, let me just get cop one sec. Um, I love the toddlers in this game. I wish you could teach them to walk and they crawl though. Yeah, I was wondering if they were gonna save that for like a baby refresh, but I don't know any of that now. <laughs> it's the fact that he wants to kiss him outside in the snow because he keeps trying to go out there. Oh, that's why. Cute. Um, I'd have lower manners and empathy too in an orphanage. Oh, <laughs> stop, Eric. You're gonna make me see, make me feel so sad about this kid. Um, one of my friends dances like a Sims 4 toddler. <laughs> Your friend sounds fun. That's so funny. That's pretty much how I dance in the club too. Not that I go to clubs any anytime soon. You're like, um, this is kind of a cute. Oh no, these aren't socks. These are boots. I thought he was wearing just little socks. These are rubber boots. So he was equipped to be out in this. Well, I mean, he's still a kid, but he was equipped. Um, I think I'll keep, I'll keep this outfit. It's like who he is, right? Oh, this is still cute too. Cause I feel like his dads wear that type of shirt all the time. It's green. I like it. We got, oh, see, this is it. Like, even if it's not a cohesive outfit on the toddlers, I'm still like, this is absolutely adorable, no matter what they're wearing, because they're just wearing tiny little clothes. Um, I do like it when they have uh, like these little cohesive ones like this. It'd be cute. They, is there like a dog version? I'm picturing one that kind of... Oh. I want one that kind of looks like um, Rosie. Like that'd be the cutest to me. Is there a dog version of this one? No, I think it's just aliens and horses. Um, it's like caterpillar. I mean, this is cute. This is like the little llamas. There isn't a dog version of this, is there? Like a lion. Oh, it's just like a little lion on their butt. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I would have given them like a proper, like, I don't know, little cat ears or something on this. You can tell I don't play with toddlers super often. Oh, they have the robe now. Stop it. <laughs> Why does he look like a full grown man? <laughs> this is too much. Oh my gosh. No, absolutely not. <laughs> this man looks like he's also going to be making pots of coffee in the kitchen in the morning. <laughs> like, it's too good. But I want him to like look like, you know, is it also I, I really like that robe in general. I'm just laughing at it on a toddler in particular. Um, and foxes is cute, little chickens are cute. He does seem to like green, so maybe we can do that. It's also the little, sli oh, the little slippers, man. Yeah. Hot like, can we do yellow like the chickens? Yeah, that's cute, right? Mm -hmm. Keep his outfits. Oh no, I just saw that as I changed his outfits. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, I'll keep most of his stuff though, I think. He does wear a lot of green, though. Interesting. This isn't bad. But obviously, I mean, oh, stop it. <laughs> I didn't know we had floaties. Where even are these? Are they in accessories? I never knew that. 
I think I only ever- Oh, we should be painting his nails. For the party, obviously. Um, green, because he loves green. Mm. Blue is also cute. We can even see his tiny little hands. I'm in love with this kid. Um... All right, I kind of like swim trunks though. I just don't want to think about wet diapers, you know? It's cute. I love his swim clothes. We're definitely keeping the floaties. We're keeping these sunglasses. Cottage living animal prints are so precious, right? Um, and then the backpack is obviously happening for cold, or cold weather. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so beach ready. Little tank top. Is there like sandals for them though? I think sandals could be cute. Maybe. Does this match his shirt? <laughs> um, I love the swimwear. Yeah. Oh, this is a cute little jacket too. And green. He has a thing for green. Um, see if that yeah, yeah, I definitely want to see the body hair on Brent. Yes. But we're using oh, he's definitely gonna wear pants when he goes out. But I feel like frog is good because frog is green, but then there's also green with fox. Um, is this one, any other green? It's, it's just only ever wearing green because that's the one thing I know that he liked. <laughs> oh my god, with little trousers. Like, again, full grown man. These are too much. Um, let's get little camo ones. Let me see what his, what do his dads wear for? I think this is his cold weather, right? Yeah. So he wears like slacks. What's your other dad wearing? And he's wearing jeans. No, slacks and jeans. I mean, technically that would mean these. Not these. Oh, those are very tight pants. Are these baggier? Not really. Doesn't this feel like way tighter between the two? This looks like leggings. Jeggings, I guess. <laughs> He's got his little rain boots. Let me get him some like snow boots though. So he's wearing like Uggs or something. Oh! Okay, I think this looks better with the pants because before they look like skin tight because the boots were over top, I guess. But uh... Maybe I'm gonna do these little ones. I mean, they're all little. Why am I calling them little ones? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, this kid's too cute. Do we want him like a little? So he got little hats. Um, we got one that's a good color, or nah? Oof. This kind of matches the backpack a little bit. Yeah, I think I could keep that. Um, what was I just thinking of now? Oh, we could also give him a little... Um, I keep saying little as if not everything that he wears is going to be little. We could give him a do-rag for his sleeping. Protect his hairstyle. I can't handle this. Is there like a color that matches his uh, slippers and stuff? Oh, there's like uh, pattern ones. Hmm. I want one that goes with his outfit, but I don't think there is one. Brent should have his nails painted if they aren't already. That's a good call. We should. <gasps> we could do matching color. I think I gave blue. For this. So definitely, I mean, I never go to parties in this game, but his party wear definitely has to be blue. Um, nails to match his kid. And then we can look at, um, I always forget which accessories it's on. There we go. Then we can look at his uh, regular wear ones. I don't know if that even makes sense for his outfit. Oh yeah, he's got his little tie, so that makes sense. 
And then we were doing body hair with him. And then we'll also do... Oh yeah, okay, so it's here. I think he kind of has this auburn color, right? Yeah, I think this looks fine. His hair is much more faint because it's so much lighter though. Yeah, I think this is better. The do-rig is perfect, so you did like it. You like it in black? I just wanted it like to match more of his outfit, but I mean, he's a toddler, who cares? <laughs> Toddlers don't always match. Um, maybe we'll put it back on then. I think there is still somehow a chat delay because um, I'm seeing y'all's messages quite later. But uh, I don't know, should we do like a... I think maybe block is the way to go. Because he already has like patterns, I guess. That'd be so funny if they did like all these pattern shirts in the do-rag one. Um, just like for the toddlers. Um, I like the black, it makes sense to have it. Yeah, okay. So I was thinking. Okay. So main outfit staying the same. Also, is this a cat or a dog on here? It's probably a cat? Well, maybe a dog. Kind of looks like Rosie. Also, what is this? What? When did we get this? For Snowy Escape? <laughs> I completely missed that. All right, we're not giving it to him. <laughs> um, I think it's a cat, okay. Pig, no cat. Okay, so cat is the consensus on this one. All right, all right. So maybe he might be more of a cat guy. Um, oh my gosh. Honestly, I don't really love this outfit. But um, it is what he came with, so I don't wanna... I don't know, maybe if we just change, no. I don't know what my problem is with this. Here's the pants, but I don't like how bright the pants are. But he's like a kid, so of course he's gonna wanna wear like bright, flashy. I don't know. Hmm. This is why I don't go into create a sim or build mode on stream because I get lost, <laughs> get lost in the details. <laughs> How many parties is he gonna go to, really? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, there are more than just the bunny hat. Is there a fr wait? What? Let me go back. Where was that? No, I think it's just the different colors, right? Because then there's just like the elf one. I think these are all shaped the same. Is there a suit for this then? Or is it like just the... Also, oh my gosh, this is like absurd. These are so cute. It's fine, it's fine. All right, because there's like the Christmas tree. Like this. <laughs> if we have to do Winterfest with this family, I don't think we will while well, he's a toddler. But uh, it's too much for me. I can't handle it. Yeah, I don't even see a bunny suit in here. <laughs> snowy escape? I don't even see snowy escape clothes. Or, oh, there's snowy there. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what that was. <laughs> It'd be great if there was a frog hat. Yeah! Um, okay. So, was there thoughts on what nail polish color we want for Brent in his everyday wear? Gosh, how do I get to this? There we go. We could do like blue again, maybe for his shirt. I don't know. I usually am just like by default, I just match colors to colors. We do black. I wish I could zoom out better. No, I feel like black isn't really his style actually. Now that I'm seeing it. Oh yeah. What are his likes and dislikes? Okay, first I'll put. Oh yeah. Is there is the men loving men flag in here? I know that the women loving women one is definitely. I'm just gonna like look up. Cause it's like the. It's not supposed to be that. No, no, it's like the blues. 
Why do I feel like I can't see anything right now? I'm trans flag. Where's the women one? So this is the... Is this supposed to be the men's one? Because this is the women's one, right? It's the... What? Um... Brent looks like a pink. <laughs> he does because the pants. Okay, wait, wait. Let me look at his likes and dislikes because I like that idea as well. Uh, color. He just doesn't like yellow. Oh my god, imagine he didn't. Okay, wait, wait. Let's look at this kid. Oh, you don't have likes and dislikes because you're too young. Okay, I wanted to make sure that he liked green. Um, in front of him, he was like, I hate green. And then all of his outfits are in green. What about you? Do you have a color preference? You don't like yellow. We just got a yellow hater in both of these people. Good thing the kid doesn't love yellow. Um, but not me forgetting where the nail polish is every time I come out of it. I feel like this, even like the lighter, like the regular pinks. Is this just clear? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Yeah, I like. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show this properly, but I don't know, can you see this? Am I even showing my screen? It's so delayed. <laughs> yeah, it's like these colors for the MLM flag. Now I don't know if it's gonna focus back on my face after showing that. Cause I had to like double check, but I'm like, I don't think that's in here. I wish it would just like pop up cause, yeah, this is... oh wait, is this one? This one? It's probably this one. Because there's supposed to be like a green as well as the dark blue. Oh, please stick me back to the hands. I think it's that, yeah. Okay. I wish color likes and dislikes affected your sim, such as wearing the colors or being in a room with. And imagine getting the moonlit. Like, it's blue. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, beyond, if it had some sort of impact, or like even if it just had them choosing things with that color, like, I don't know. Uh, like autonomously ordering a drink just because it's red and that's their favorite color would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, we could do that one. Hmm. I do like the idea of him having pink as well though. So I think I'm gonna do, because it matches the shorts, we're just gonna do two outfits and the only thing I'm gonna change um, between them are gonna be the nail polish colors. So we can have the best of both worlds. And we'll just do... Cause this pink is like pretty true to his shorts. Cute. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss a comment in here that I'm going to want to change something. Mm, okay. I think I'm caught up. <laughs> Stop it. Not me rejoining the stream and reading MLM as multi-level marketing for absolutely no reason in the chat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You might have just outed yourself as a lesbian. You may have thought before, you could have thought you were bisexual at some point, but you're not. If you read MLM as, uh, as uh, multi-level marketing instead of men loving men, it's <laughs> you're too far removed from men. <laughs> or you're too invested in um, marketing, either or. Okay, we're back. BJ has his makeover. Man, Rosie still hates this radio, eh? I feel bad for her. Can you calm her down? Oh, we got to do his whole bedroom. I was like, oh, all done. This is going to be, I think it makes sense that his bedroom would down here. The anti-MLM movement confused me for a bit because I thought it was homophobia. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. I actually like, I think that there is a wave of this for like cryptocurrency now, but like there's this dude that I have on Instagram who like I met in like 2010. We have not talked to each other like since 2010, but we've had each other on Instagram since then. So that's like 12 years, right? Have not sent a single message to each other on Instagram, not even once, not even back when we used to like talk in person. But he sent me a message it was like 
did you see my last photo and how much money I made doing cryptocurrency? I was like, oh no. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> like this is the new like Avon. Um, or I don't know if Avon is like a global thing, but Avon is like the, like usually it's like women who are like selling beauty products. Um, so I was like, oh no, like the Avon thing is becoming like this masculine cryptocurrency thing now where it's like bros trying to sell other bros on cryptocurrency. <laughs> I'm a bro, obviously. Um, but yeah, and I just ignored it because then I was also like, I can't tell if it's like he's doing this on purpose or like his account is hacked because I've had like situations when it's like, I'll get like messages from like, usually it's like accounts that are like run by women or whatever, but like it'll be like some other account will try and add me using the images of like my like friends. I don't know, it's like Instagram or like kind of acquaintances really at that point. And I'm like, huh, what is this like bot trying to use your account for? And I just like report it and move on. But I clicked on the profile and it actually was his profile that was sending it. So I was like, this is like an elaborate bot if it is one or like this man is just like stuck in some sort of, yeah, pyramid scheme trying to like use me to get out of it um, and other people obviously. Um, but yeah, I was like, what the heck? So I just ignored it. And then like a week later, he like sent me like a photo. It was like on Instagram, like, you know how you can either have like, it's kind of like a Snapchat style photo where like you have to open it to see it and you don't have a preview. So I was like, okay, so I just ignored it for like another 48 hours. And then he sent me a photo that I didn't have to open up. That it was like, the photo was like, if you can tell me, I'm giving out a thousand dollars to the first like few people that can tell me what number is present in this photo. And it was like a little, little, um, I don't know the word, like, you know, it's like hard to see things. And then like, but the number was like super clear in it. I was like, okay so obviously i was just ignoring it but i was like i can't tell if this dude is hacked or like i'm selling these paintings because i want to put his real paintings up by the way um I, yeah i can't tell if he's hacked or like this is uh his new pyramid scheme that he's stuck in anyway it was very i don't know obviously <laughs> the multi-level marketing is why i'm thinking of that no other reason related to redoing this kid's bedroom um Confused and bisexual. Sorry, Emily. I don't make the rules. You're not bisexual anymore. Um, as a fellow bisexual, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Um, having his room makes sense, but having your toddler's bedroom on the ground floor while your parents are upstairs. Oh no! <laughs> makes me go, hmm. Dang it. <laughs> right after I like move everything up there, <laughs> I like read the comment. Um, he's been cryptoed for Andres. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have been trying to sell me crypto recently. I started investing in crypto though, not through pyramid scheme though. I was like, Vinny, is this where you start turning the chat? Like, and I've made millions over the past 48 hours. Click this link and you could too. Um, I don't understand cryptocurrency and I, I don't intend to ever understand it. Um, but yeah, that kind of stuff I'm like, uh, I don't know. Investing in general just kind of scares me. Okay, so I'm thinking we could do some green. This reminds me of uh, Animal Crossing, right? Like the leaf. I'm just gonna put it down so I can like see because we're not keeping what was originally there. I also don't really, I don't know about the flooring. His parents have carpeting upstairs though. So we could put carpeting in his little section too. That could be good. Oh, could it? It's like, oh, it's because there's so many colors in this. Um, I feel like you wouldn't do a white carpet in your kid's room. You'd probably go for like, this is like the same as his parents. I think that makes sense. And then we can do the walls something. I feel like we could go, I don't know if I want the furniture to be green or if I want the room to be green. I do want there to be hints of green though. Um, Let's see. He did have like little dinosaurs. Hmm. But this one's cute too. What do y'all usually do for kids' rooms? Do you go all out or do you just give them a random room knowing that they're gonna like age up sometime soon anyway? 
don't know how much I should be investing in. Oh, this looks good. Oh, what the heck? Okay, now I feel like the light might be too bright? Or is it just when I have it selected? Um, so then we could do like a more plain looking carpet. And then just do rugs over top of it or something. Maybe I would leave hardwood. Um, I go all out. Oh, you do? For kids' rooms, I try to have a color scheme for each kid. Um, the grass and animals are so pretty. Right? I was thinking this is... I think I am set on this wallpaper, but I'm flooring I have such a hard time with because for some reason to me, like, this looks like very ugly flooring. But I feel that way about, like, all flooring, and then I just get frustrated, and then I'm like... I'll be like, oh, like this one, and then I'm like, does that look like a basketball court? Or I think it's like this one. Yeah, this one's actually a basketball one. I used to use this all the time, and then when I read it was supposed to be a basketball court, I, like felt like deceived i was like how how did i use this in all my builds also i didn't know there was low fire resistance the heck i've never noticed that before i'm not a builder we've talked about this um i give them a bed and toys from pandas and a sama a potty chair and that's it is that a is that a cc thing gym <laughs> flooring star like really comfy wood so yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, I go all and then add things, add and remove things as they age to show progression. Yeah, gray carpet would look nice here. Okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. Ooh, if I even remember where the carpeting is, what is happening? Why am I? Oh, that's carpet. Okay, okay. Um, oh, we do have this one too. It's coming like a. No, that's too much. Ah, oh, too much. Well, I like more gray than that. Brown doesn't look too bad either. Um, yes, they make the best toddler CC toys. Oh, are they the one that has like the... I know there's like little cooking stations and there's like a thing with the car and then they have like cribs for toddlers where they um, have to be like put to bed and like taken out and stuff like that. Do they do all that kind of stuff? Um, you're saying yes, I think that is correct. Oh, also... I always like using the eco lifestyle bed. Where's the eco lifestyle bed? Oh, I'm not under toddlers. That's what I'm assuming. This, like, this is so cute. Usually, like the I don't know what it was before. I couldn't place it in like some of my builds because it was like too close to the wall or something. But like this is with like the little stuffed animal here too. Like this is absurd. Like every toddler bed should be like this one. <laughs> um. I do like orange and blue. Hmm. I think that's kind of cute. I like to put things down and then I like to go back and change the swatches when I kind of understand what the options are for like everything we have in here. So um, if I am like, I am done with the bed now and you're like, oh, I think that you should do like this swatch. Definitely still tell me in the chat and I can go back to it and change it. Um, and then I want this, but I don't know if we should just do it outside. This is gonna take up a lot of room. Let's just, I'm gonna put it outside for now. Maybe not so close to the barbecue, but like. I'll put a little pool in season. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have this. I don't know if it's ever gonna be warm enough for him to use it while he's a toddler, unless we do toddler for two weeks. I could do toddler for two weeks. Um, and then maybe when we come back, it could be okay. And then I'm gonna put a high chair, but I don't know if we'll use it. Um, also, I don't like their dining table. Like this is one of the, the ones that you can make. I'm just gonna delete this. Let's do a different one. We're gonna do... Maybe like a darker wood though. I'm gonna start renoing the whole house now. Yeah, like something more modern. I think that makes sense. Just feel like I don't like the look of the crafted ones. And then we're gonna put a high chair at this table. It's what I'm getting at in the long term. <laughs> I mean, you like these classic, I usually do these in like colors. 
Why is it looking so much like a bucket to me right now? Maybe it's these ones I like. Should I do all the chairs in yellow? Because I found out that they hate yellow. It's happening right now. Whatever. The cat bed is this bed over here? Yeah, it's absurdly big for their tiny little dog. Um got the light wood. I always use the high chairs. What the heck? How? Oh yeah, the monster light. Good call, good call. Um your range. So I do not want nightmares. Obviously we're gonna try and do it in green. It's like more of a mint, isn't it? Okay, this light is too big. I should leave. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, then we can put it like here. What should we do in toys? Yeah, I'm gonna put the little pool out there. We'll see if we get a chance to use it or not. If anything, at least it just looks like they have kids. I think we can do like a little book thing. I'm gonna put down these walls now. Um, and then we walk in. Put to the side. I feel like they would get a blarfy. Wait, where are the ones that look like other animals? Am I missing a whole bunch of stuff because I'm in the toddler section? Oh, okay. Are they like... I don't know if they would do a dog because they love dogs. Also, the dog is dressed like them. Or if they would do unicorn because they're gay. <laughs> what type of gays are they? Are they? Is it only dog personality or are they also a unicorn type of gay? It's a real question. I think only children can use this, right? We'll get that eventually. Um, I think a toy chest. Or the dino. The dino would make sense for this room. That's a really good point. Um, I have a mod that makes it makes sit longer in them so they don't always want to go out. Okay. Like having them in there so you can all sit together at the table and chat and eat. Yeah, if they could all like time to eat together, I could understand definitely why you'd use the high chair more. Um, if, if I was to use a high chair, it would be like the mod that locks them in. <laughs> Um, the please take your seat with like the wedding one, but it's like you are strapped into the high chair now and no adult sim can take you out. Um, unicorn, dog gay, dino, both dino. There's two dinos. Oh, one's a dragon. Okay, okay. That looks like dino kind of got the most votes. Cause yeah, this one in my head is the dino one. And then I think this is, this is dragon, right? Because it has the, um, what if we do, we can do this dinosaur, obviously in green. I don't want to like, you know the show like, uh, I don't know what that show is called, where they like redo people's rooms and stuff like that. And then they're just like, oh, I somewhat kind of like dinosaurs. And then all of a sudden, and they'll give like a bunch of other facts about themselves. And then all of a sudden they come back and their whole house is like shaped like a dinosaur. I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to be like that for this kid of like, oh, you somewhat like green a little bit. Now everything you've ever touched or owned is in green. <laughs> um, maybe we can do like, can you get closer together? I'm going to have to do cheats for that. I want you to like naturally look like you were placed beside each other though. No, do like this. Can one of you go back further? No. Um, no, 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 I don't want to change the comments. Well, I kind of like the Dalmatian, but its eyes like disappear. I guess because of the spots. Oh, no, I see them now. Okay, it's just cool. I do like this. 
Oh, the dragon. Oh, what? <laughs> this kid's getting it all. Um, it's fine. I'll just like resize them all. <laughs> So it doesn't feel as absurd that he owns so many. It's just like a beanie bag collection. I would I wish I could like place it. Okay, I will come back to this and place it properly. I will turn cheats on to place it, I think, because I do kind of want it closer together. It's just like I'm not very good with cheats and I don't want to make it so that certain things are unusable. Yeah, <laughs> Eric is like, please put the cheat on. <laughs> um they should have toddler booster seats where they can climb up and sit on it at the table. You know, there's like, that's a very good idea. But I also like wish they had, I know there's, I don't know what it's called because like I don't have kids, but I know that there's like a thing that you can get. It's like a seat that you can like put your kids in like on the counter when they're like younger and they can't get out of it. I think it'd be cute if they had like that type of situation for like babies or something. Like if you just <laughs> like have it in the, I don't know, in the kitchen or something. Like if you were just like have like a little seat that you can put here. And that you can move it around too. And then like you could be like, oh, place baby here. And then so you like have your baby here while you're cooking. Um, which might be dangerous because of how many fi fires happen in this game. But like, you know what I mean? Like, or you could just like put it down like on the couch and then, you know, so the baby is still designated to fit into like a little seat, but they could be set up around the house. I think that'd be like, even though the baby would still be an object in that point, like at least they can come out <laughs> they can come out <laughs> um, let babies come out of the closet um but no you know what i mean like <laughs> at least they can uh be in around the house in different places um yeah let's get like a toy chest too of course oh this one ship like a burger is hilarious to me but i feel like it would be less hilarious to uh brent and brandt i do coloring because painter things but i don't like the color scheme of this too much that's fine, that's fine. I guess I should do some shelving and tables and stuff, huh? I want them to have blocks. I have a feeling these things will go all out for the kid, like maybe a bit too all out. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, now I want a paleontologist career, like, that's what I wanted to be as a kid. Maybe that's why I love Jurassic Park so much. Nice, yeah, I feel like they could do that because there's fossils in this game, and then there's, like, the architecture, not architecture, archaeologist stuff for, uh, Jungle Adventure, right? So, not a stretch by any means. I think we could do... Sized Down Castle, maybe? Castle and dragons make sense, I feel like. Can you still use this? Let's find out. I know we sized down um, the Tinker Kids uh, dollhouse as well, but I can't remember. I don't think we ever used it when it was sized down. I don't know how to place anything in this room. It's like, I guess if we go up against the wall. A bit better. Like this, so we'll see if he can play with that. I really don't understand this like decorative. What's up with this? Always here to cheer you up, but they can't play with it. Anyway, we could do. My right, toddlers can use this. I feel like maybe they would also. Hmm. I was gonna say have stuff out here, and then I realized I crammed all the stuff <laughs> out here from. Uh, the other room. You can put small stuffies on the shelves. Yeah, I should put shelves in here. Good point, good point. Oh, this was in the middle of the table before. Oh. Does it fit? This feels like a weird thing to have in the middle of your table anyway. Can we change the pot, maybe? Hmm. Everything in green. Of course, Strangerville would have a weird armadillo thing for kids, seriously. Um, oh yeah, shelving. That's what I just tried to do. 
Hello, C. How are you doing? Let's do a shelf like... I feel like these two walls would be good to have shelves. I can remember where shelves were even placed. Um... Do I have to go out of here to get to shelving? Looks like it, huh? Let's see what other decor we want. Man, I thought there was way more kids decor than this. Oh, we also have to remember to put up uh, the paintings that Brent did. What are these kids things? Like, I understand that some of the CC stuff <laughs> or mod stuff is in here, but like... Like, why is this knife block under, like, kids' clutter? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Just dogs and dog, uh, dog food. Oh, a lump of coal. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I think I gotta go into... General objects. It's like storage. Yeah, where are the shelves? What category are they under? Anyone know what the top of their head? I thought it was decorations for some reason. Surfaces? Surfaces. That's it, that's it. Okay. What do we got? This looks kind of childish. Got this one. Yeah, it is surfaces. Okay. We got... Painting ones, cute, maybe for the office though. Again, I'm just haphazardly placing. <laughs> I will come back to actually like figuring out how it's gonna look. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, let me see. I like that one, but I don't think it's for kid kid. Like that. It's like a classic. Oh no, my camera died again. Wait, I think I tried to. Let me see. I true. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, change my camera battery. For now, um, thank you to Eric uh, for giving you a point of discussion on what you hope the next EP is. Enjoy this build by music while I uh, go change my camera battery. One sec. <laughs> I just realized I muted myself. <laughs> Brutal. Um, but no, I was just saying I'm surprised my camera actually worked when I plugged it back in. Usually it's been giving me delays. Um, but I'm back. Um, I just want fairies. I'd be happy with fairies. Do you want like Sims 3 fairies added? Or what do you picture, Draven, for the fairies to be in The Sims 4? I never played with them in The Sims 3. Like, ever. I just played with werewolves in The Sims 3 for the first time, like, a few months ago. Um, 
because I used to only like I remember like when I got that pack I just played the spellcasters and I didn't like it so I just never played with it again oh my gosh obviously they're gonna have this rainbow shelf Um, I haven't been keeping up with any hints, but if there are any, uh, but I've been really wanting like a band or music pack as a musician. I desperately want so many more instruments. Yeah, I missed the drum kit. We were just talking about that. We were talking about The Sims 2 earlier and like which items from The Sims 2 um, should come to game. And like, I missed the drum kit. Like the fact that there was like drums, a bass, a guitar, like, and a piano. And like you, I don't think you can, I don't know if you can play together in that one. I know you can play together in a band in The Sims 3, and that's like a really fun mechanic. I'm surprised that they haven't done it yet. But also sometimes I do wonder if like the people who work on The Sims right now, if they've ever played the older games, um, or like maybe they haven't played them in a while and they forget all the options that the other ones had. Um, Cause I'm surprised that they aren't just porting over more of the stuff that's out there. Oh, this matches with the bed frame, that's good. Oh my gosh, what? I didn't know there's a little unicorn version. Even just the regular cloud ones are cute. Oh, this one's like has more green in it. Perfect. Um, at this point, I have no idea what it could be. Like they mentioned bands in a survey forever ago, but I hope they don't make it an entire EP. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a good stuff. Pack. I always forget the different tiers of the packs, but like Paranormal, I know it was like the last version of I think stuff packs, and I feel like it fit to have the band stuff kind of similar. Um, at this, yes, I love them in The Sims Three so much, but I would want them expanded on to have good and bad fairies and some drama. Yeah, if they did fairies kind of to the same level that they've been doing the spellcasters and vampires. I think that that makes a lot of sense for sure. So people say that they want royalty. I wonder what that would look like. I feel like that's kind of like a really touchy subject. I would say, kind of difficult to put into a game. Um. Like, unless it's like a, a history thing, like this ends medieval, I feel like it's uh, obviously, if you look at history, <laughs> royalty and like colonization and stuff go hand in hand. It's, a bit, it's a bit difficult sometimes and like how you would implement that. But I don't know. I'm also like, I'm in Canada. I don't know a whole lot about what royalty looks like. Um, not an EP, but I'd love to have fine arts game pack with opera, theater, orchestra, ballet, and stuff like that you can attend and do. That's true because, um, I don't know if you're going to say this later, but like there is like the rabbit hole, like I know in with City Living, it's like, oh, you want to go to this like theater thing with me tonight? Um, so it would be pretty interesting if they actually um, like implemented it where you could like go and maybe use some of the stuff that they did with like Get Famous with like the, the actors and stuff like that to make a proper stage performance. Um, Cause yeah, trying to get like a theater performance to go well would be like pretty funny. And I can kind of recycle a lot of this stuff from Get Famous. Um, anyway, let's see what we want to put on these shelves. They have ballet and free play. Oh, for like going to see it? Because The Sims 2 has ballet as well, for like you being, is it like a skill or like a dancing thing with the ballet bar? Um, royalty and fairies would give me a Sleeping Beauty vibe. Oh yeah. I'm headed off, I'll be back later if you're still here. Will the next playthrough continue Brent and Brant's story? Um, the next playthrough is going to be, like it's rotationally, so next week I'd be doing, um, oh my gosh, who was after Brent and Brant? I think it was the Greenbergs. Or was it the Cottage Living Guy? I don't know. I should know that. Um, but no, it wouldn't be Brent and Brant for next stream. You'd have to wait like a full rotation before I play them again. Um, I I was taking a break from doing as much streaming. I used to stream three times a, um, a week on um, Twitch. I might pick that up again, to be honest. So maybe we could get more done in a week, but uh, it'd be on Twitch. It wouldn't be on YouTube. I don't think I'm trying to like figure it out. Honestly, like apparently like streaming on YouTube can really like kill your channel essentially. So I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, that was a long answer. I know that you gotta go, but <laughs> um, I, I'll probably be streaming for a while. We're only on Tuesday right now. So I might catch you again later, but uh, thanks for hanging out with me, Vinny.
Um, I lick another time travel pack like Sims 3 into the future. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I feel like the Sims 4 wouldn't be able to handle that, to be honest, because I feel like it would crash. That's a pretty advanced thing. I was surprised that wasn't even an option for the Sims 3. Um, oh, can this go on a little shelf? This is cute. This one's too big. It probably needs like a little table if we wanted that. Duck, I feel like, could be a better bathroom clutter. Just put this somewhere. Ugh, why these candles take up so much space? I also miss that. I think it was The Sims 3, right? You could put stuff on the, the ledges of bathtubs. Because we briefly mentioned The Sims 3 here. Like, I wish we could do that again. I still can't. These, not, these don't even have any size that lets me alt place, huh? Friggin' rude. Like, do they want to be adults with candles, or would they just have a rubber ducky on the side of their... Let me see what it looks like if I... Can I get it to be off-placed so it looks... Whatever. Your parents now. You have a single rubber ducky in your bathroom, that's what that means. Um, I've seen people saying they want royalty, but I don't know, it seems like a niche topic. Yes, I was thinking. I don't know how to feel about royalty in The Sims. I've seen some people say they want superheroes as well, but I'm on the fence with that. It's like X-Men where everyone can be unique power share, but it's basic heroes, villains like Superman. Then no. Um, yeah, that's like an interesting one because I know there's even... Uh, there's like a like if you get hit by lightning, I forget what it is. Like if you have to have like a special like store bot thing, if you're like the storm chaser or something, and you get hit by lightning, and then you have the power to like wield the lightning, and then there's like the elemental sims from like Sulani that can like summon the volcano meteor things. So it's kind of interesting because they do have more of the superhero kind of stuff like that. But I don't know. I feel like that's an entirely different game at that point. Like if you want to play something with superheroes, I feel like you're better off just buying a Marvel game and playing it. Um, but that's my point of view, but I don't know. Obviously if people are like super into that gameplay that we already have and they want it expanded, I can totally see why. This is a weird toy, huh? It's just like a tentacles laying on the side with an eyeball. I don't think I've noticed that before. Um, don't know if we're doing that one. But I, how is this not possible to play? There we go. There. Got. Um, there we go. Looks good. It kind of pops off that. I'm gonna kind of suspicious of the fact that only like nothing has been able to fit beside the horse. I've been placing things. I think they all have to be placed sideways so I can see it. Oh, I don't want to put clay in this household. We all know how that goes. Um, what? Can nothing else fit? Oh, I guess I can go up here. Oh, that's kind of a nice placement. I like how it goes further in the back like that. Do like this. I'd like to see an Into the Future. I wish Eco Lifestyle could become a more of a dystopian world, or you can at least have more longer industrial areas without mods, and you had to like an industrial trait too. Yeah, I wish that there was more customization in the settings like that too. I would agree. Um, like, because it'd be nice if you could just turn that off if you didn't want it, but um, a little bit more consequences are always good in a video game. Um, I won't be able to join as frequently if you stream on Twitch, but do whatever works the best for your channel. Do you not, um, because of Twitch as a platform? Or just you mean like you can only really commit to like one time a week for watching streams, which is totally fair, either way. Just curious, because I don't know if there's like limitations for different countries for Twitch or something like that. Um, does Into the Future as a pack worth it? I started playing this 3 not so long ago. Oh. I don't know if somebody's saying this already because there's a lot of chat things, but if you're buying Sims 3 packs, there is like a 
it goes on sale quite frequently where it does the bundle of every single pack in it and it'll be for like um maybe like even i think like 60 dollars canadian or something like that for every single pack all at once definitely worth doing that i would say if you don't already own a lot of them um, i feel like africa is the only continent they haven't explored culturally although knowing them it'll probably just be a kit with like five items <laughs> stop it um yeah seriously it um uh, we are missing a lot of like um especially knowing how big africa is like it's an entire continent not represented it's like a little bit brutal but um there is that petition going around so hopefully that changes um i've had that lightning thing happen once but it was kind of boring to be rare oh to be so rare interesting so it didn't really i only saw like a video i think pd plays it did a video of the lightning one and like shocking different sims with it um I think there are better choices for games when you want certain things, but I also think the team making other games like they used to Medieval Castaway is a missed thing. Yes, 100% they should be doing some sort of spinoff. I hate uh, that I had this idea, but I think if they ever do superhero thing, then it would be like Journey to Bat 2, but in collaboration with Marvel. Um, yeah, that'd be interesting. I don't know how I feel about a collab with Marvel. I mean, it's all Disney now, right? So like if they already did one Disney Star Wars collab, they can do a Disney Marvel collab, right? The build by music right now is so spooky. I love it. I know it's not this song because this song does not sound spooky, but um, same Eric, same. This is controversial, but I despise Marvel and I have no idea how everyone else isn't sick of it at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not like a huge Marvel fan. I've definitely missed out on a lot of the movies, but I do enjoy... I like getting on those trends where there's like a big movie release and then being able to go with like... Obviously not during like the, the global situation right now, but like previously, like going out with a bunch of people and like everyone being so excited for this movie. Um, but I also was like... I ha Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to be sizing him up. I actually... He's kind of fun when he's sized up though. Like how horrifying. Oh, now he's gone. Where'd he go? Um, I think this horse ruined this entire shelf though. Yeah, can you only place in that one part of the shelf? Um, but what I was saying was I'm not a huge Marvel fan. Like I've skipped some of the, um, especially the Captain America. I was like, this is too much American propaganda for me personally. I'm good missing out on this. Yeah, you can only put it on that one part of the shelf. What the heck? What do I size you down? Tiny cat? Nope, tiny cat doesn't fit either. Interesting, interesting. I guess that shelf is a no. Um, but be careful because Marvel has become Plumbella's new special interest. Um, so I'm sure we're going to see a lot of <laughs> Marvel stuff in their videos. Um, let's see. I personally prefer Twitch over YouTube, but I'll watch either way. Oh, well, I appreciate the feedback. I prefer Twitch over YouTube as well, but I have made the most... Uh, following i guess on youtube in general so i was like hmm, maybe this will be okay but technically like the technical aspect of streaming is so much harder on youtube like there's so many more issues and there's just a lot of things that they have not worked out even like i'm still gonna try to figure it out i was gonna try and not talk about this and just like surprise y'all if i could figure it out but like i really want to make emotes and I really wanted to make an emote out of tofu. That is my goal that I will hopefully have achieved by the cottage living thing. But then I found out like on YouTube, like there's no way whatsoever to make it free for people to use. So I'm trying to like try and figure out a way that I can use bots to use a workaround so that people can use it without me having to charge them money. But just like small things like that, where I'm like, this is like so much harder for me to do cool things. Cause like everything for streaming is like revolved around Twitch. And then YouTube is like a second thought where they just started like figuring out that they should support this on the platform. So that's the only reason I want to switch it up. Um, but I also, I don't like, like I know it's easier if people only have to follow me like here instead of following me there and like all this kind of stuff. But um, so I'm still trying to figure it all out, but just a heads up. I'm trying to like work it out where I can like give y'all some cool things that hopefully you'll like. Um, And then also like make it yeah easier that I don't have technical difficulties so often and Twitch would hopefully uh, fix that for me. Um, I don't know if I want to do this nightlight, dude. Be in blue. Just a little. I'll size them up and you'll still fit. 
Oh, now he's like hovering. He's a little bit scary. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if we put him like on a shelf or something. I don't know. You already got any lights. Fine. Do this little purple dude instead. Okay. And then blue bear. I don't think you can fit anywhere, dude. I think you're going. Okay. I personally prefer. Oh no, I already read that. Sorry, a timey thing. But also, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Have only ever watched a few streams on Twitch. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I don't think that's controversial, Lucy. I get that. I'm not a superhero fan in general, besides from X Men, though the movies are horrible in my opinion. That's only so many Marvel I can handle. Um, X Men is like very gay, by the way. If you all don't know. If you're not interested in superheroes, I definitely will second that X-Men is like better than Marvel. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it's like the, I don't know what the right word is. I want to say al allegory, but I don't think I know what that word means, so I'm not going to say it. But it's like, I guess like metaphor, like, like if you watch X-Men and you just pretend that they're not talking about mutants and you just think like, oh, what if, does this sentence make sense is if we're talking about like gay people like you will be shocked at how gay it sounds um especially with having um the the original like magne did you do magneto actor um who is gay yeah al allegory yeah i don't know you know al gore whatever <laughs> i'm not very good at words i used to be at one point but now i'm like i, I rarely talk out loud i feel like i read a lot of things so then i'm like mm, i don't know how i'm supposed to say any of this out loud where can I put this? Like, this dinosaur case feels kind of formal now. It feels like this is like a prized possession. Maybe we wouldn't put a dino in there. I think we can put some on the bookshelf, though. Yeah. Looking good, bud. Oh, maybe I can put Blue Bear there. Get back on the roster, Blue Bear. Oh, but you gotta face the right way, bud. Here we go. I do like this though. I wonder if there's like a plant or something I can stick in there. Um, <clears throat> Into the Future is a fun pack, but I might be biased on that because one of my favorite sins to play with was a random guy I found in Oasis Landing. <laughs> it's true though. Sometimes the sims that you, the sims you made along the way really become like, oh, this is really pretty. Um, become like the main reason why the sim or the pack sorry is good because I feel like that way about get famous like I feel like I was less I'm not super invested in like getting famous but I was like man Vanessa deserves it she's a hard-working lady we're gonna do this I'm gonna make her the best actor in the world like she's gonna get recognized as the star she is <laughs> and I don't play any other sim as an actor in the game just get invested so I totally get what you mean um, I don't know these are. Little cacti? Little faces? What's happening? Are succulents with the faces? Can you fit? Why don't you fit? You're so little. I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? I'm gonna have to use a cheat. Why? Probably not meant for something with a lid. Um... One second. Okay. Let's see what other shelves it'll let me use. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Now this will let me do a plant, hopefully.
Nope. That's fine. I think you do a good floor plan though. Um, I go through phases with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like when the Disney Plus shows were first coming out, I watched a lot of those, but currently I'm not super excited about the things coming out. Yeah, I feel like people are like super into the Loki show too, right? Um, it's like True Blood and how the vampires coming out of the coffin is the same concept with God hates fangs and stuff like that. That's absurd. <laughs> Um, James Summerton on YouTube has an amazing video on Wanda where he does into the gay allegory allegory of it all. Interesting. See, I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know anything about WandaVision, so I don't think I should really talk too much about it. But um, if you all ever watched uh, The Matrix, that's like one of the most fun things to me. It's like, first of all, I didn't I hadn't rewatched it since it came out until like this new one just came out. Um, so there was like three original movies and then um i don't know why i feel like this is a good no maybe not there is uh yeah three movies originally for the matrix and then the new one just like came out as like almost like kind of like a reboot or whatever but it's made by um like the two directors for it um are trans sisters so they came out i think actually after they did the first original three but like if you read articles where they talk about it and they describe like how a lot of like the matrix is kind of about being trans um and like transition and like making like choices like the pills like and i know like some people have like dumbed it down to be like the the pill that they choose is like estrogen <laughs> and like looking at the matrix through that lens like going back and rewatching it was like absolutely hilarious like i did a full like movie marathon um of them when the new one came out and uh yeah that was my first time watching them since they had come out and it was like yeah i don't know i just really loved that experience and it's so amazing because the matrix like i know it's kind of older now but like it has such an impact when it came out because it was like you know obviously people like see it as like that bullet dodging movie because that scene that happens with like slow motion dodging bullets was like revolutionary for the time period but it's so funny to think like when like queer and trans people are making media and like how it's the stories are so relatable also to like cishet people but they don't realize like what the experience is that they're kind of basing it off of is um and i think about that because like my dad was a huge fan of the matrix um and he's probably like you know as like most people were in his age group anyway because like it's a very famous film but it's so funny for me to like go back and be able to relate to it more i feel like because when i was originally watching it as like a kid i was like okay whatever like action movie okay <laughs> and then now i go back and i'm like oh yeah i see all these like funny nods to like stuff and even just like i don't know the very queer coded um characters in that show anyway it's just fun you know it's fun for like a new perspective of this kind of stuff um, should we do like a little cow plant for him? Maybe when he's older. I think it's dangerous. I don't know. I don't know if I like the shelves now. I feel like I should pick to like a theme, but I like having the kids' toys on them. It's not loving this one. It needs to be green. <laughs> or maybe I need it like above the toy box or something. I don't know where to put these. Because I feel like it'd be like above a desk. But do we give a toddler a desk already, knowing that he's going to have to do homework eventually? I'm do this maybe at the entrance. This one also has binders. All of this makes you feel like he needs a desk in his room. Maybe do you like it? Will you be able to get into bed and be read to? I'm not sure, actually. We can see. And I'll give you desks. Even just like a little one. Hmm. I feel like a little one doesn't really go with the vibe of the room. Let's 
if we do that. I don't know, this is why I don't build. I get like most of the way done and then I want to restart from the very beginning. <laughs> More like a childish chair that we can give him, though. I guess just these little ones. And... How is there no green swatch of this? Don't these go together? I guess the blue matches the drawers over there. Okay. Because otherwise, there's like an. I thought there was a nightstand as well for these kids. Oh, that's why. I thought this was only beds, but it actually has the other stuff in it too, eh? Okay, okay. Because I think maybe a dresser would make sense for putting the toys on. I still want the rainbow in here though. Maybe it's like a floating nightstand. The indecision is too real in this game. Then can I put plants on this now? That's what I want. Yeah, okay. Sure, we can edit it later if I feel like it. So I better color so much for this. Okay, let me just fix up their office. Hmm, like you don't need a bathroom door. And then, computer can be. Oh my gosh, I can't even place it anymore. We'll get rid of this bookcase because this one's a bookcase too. And then it's here for now. I think this globe is kind of like out of the. It's out of character. Um, I, think I, was wrong. I guess this was like a nautical themed office before oh, this painting is too big hmm yeah I think we're gonna get rid of these paintings and then just do Brent's paintings stereo maybe we can just put it in the living room somewhere what if Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm just changing the whole office vibe to just fit the painter vibe instead. Oh, wall clock. I forgot there was even wall clocks in this game. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Hmm. Or I'll put it over here. I want him to be able to look out the window or something. It's not going to be possible in this room. Rosie, you need a smaller dog bed. You tiny little dog. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Great. I forgot that I just put his treadmill out in the open like that. It'd be nice if it could fit in here too, but that's a little bit too snug. Put this. Put the dog calendar by the desk again. Actually, I don't think that you would. Mm, it's a little bit too white, though. I was gonna say there wouldn't be carpet in your office like this, would there? But and the walls would need to be changed. Or well, we can do this one. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. And then a couch. For Oh. Okay, just gotta go. Okay, sure. I wish there was some sort of painting you could do with your uh, toddlers. That'd be really cute if he was doing like finger painting on the ground while his dad was doing real painting. But I'll try and put a put a kid's table in here just so I remember to do it. And so I can figure out the best way. Place it. There we go. Okay, okay. Anything else I left out in the middle of the room? <laughs> Hopefully not. No. And then we can just put paintings up. So let's see. <laughs> uh, not sure about these ones. Where did the dog food one go? I think we can... <laughs> this figure painting makes me laugh. 
This one we could keep. Let's frame it though. I guess I can't alt place unless I'm in build mode. This one's flirty, so I don't think you need that in your kid's room. I thought there was a way to change the color of the frames. Is that just photos that I'm thinking of? Oh, there we go. That's the one I was thinking. Oh, maybe it's in build mode. Such a weird painting. <laughs> Do you think uh, this one gives vibes like the kid made it himself? <laughs> I don't know if that... <laughs> Or do you think that's like a, just a fun painting that he made for his kid? Because maybe I can keep that as like a childish thing. When I guess we can only have black frames. Because this one looks decent, but it also looks... I don't know, the color scheme is quite dark. And we can do this one over here. We'll do abstract in his office. Okay. I mean, this one's really nice too, actually. I like this. Size down more actually. Good. Maybe if I switch. series I don't know I wish we could like choose which one that they painted <laughs> I think I'd be able to find more of a cohesive theme to give <laughs> but I guess I make him do like a third one it has more color it could go well as a pair so for now let's kind of split them So pop art will probably have more color and we can try and offset. Bring them all. Oh, and the flirty one we can put in their bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Great. Oh, y'all just went to bed and just left your <laughs> your newly adopted kid to fend for himself out here? Brutal. Okay, let me save so I don't lose all that. All right, I guess Rosie's looking after the kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rosie's like, what the heck is this kid doing? Is. Oh, I forgot to give him a potty. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, the joys of potty training. Let's see. Who's the green, of course. And somebody has got to wake up and help this kid. Who has more energy and who doesn't work soon? No, he just used his diaper. Dang it. Oh, that's rough. So close. I swear I was working on it. How do you? Isn't there a change diaper still? Nope. Clean up, I guess, is the option instead. Give a talking to. No, clean this kid. Imka Floof? Rina. Oh, they just like throw them in the air too. They don't even need a. Huh. All that interaction was different for some reason. Oh, he wants to level up his potty skill though. Good for you, kid. Yeah, read a book. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's see. Rosie's freaking out. She's got the zoomies. I didn't think this was going to be a bedtime story, but maybe this is the only place they can sit together. Oh, no. Uh. Yeah, read. Boom Braza? Huh? <laughs> yes. The heck? I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, Rosie's deciding to sleep right here, too. Very cute. Rogan and Paza, Kodra Safoy. Hmm. Arnuk Fruba, Trobar. Now Fedubda, Arbini Mobzi, Arabrup Trobta. They go to Zephy Zephy. Bartuzi. Gosh, it's 3.30 in the morning. Maybe we should be reading this kid to sleep. Weez a shoib. Beam de shoopsta. Mitzel balarba. Wexa bewob. Fwibna. 
Pipna Grib. Rogan and Paza. Coldris of four. Oh, imagination levels two already. Nice. It's always the thinking that I have the hardest time getting up though. Which hopefully because he's inquisitive it'll be easier. Oh yeah, he does learn thinking faster. Oh, but he did not want to go to sleep. <laughs> or he's... I don't know. Oh, he had to get changed. Oh, it's a little bit. Cute. Yeah. Okay, you should go to bed. bed. Little well, Rosie is zooming around everywhere. Tombra. All right, let's get some leftovers going. I like that Rosie keeps hanging out in this room with them too. Very cute. I think they're gonna be friends. Brant goes to work in two hours. He needs charisma and fitness. I think when he comes back from work, we can do some gym stuff. Oh wait, who should stay home? I just realized we have a toddler. We can't both go to work or he's gonna have to go to daycare. I think we'll do, they both have tomorrow off. So one of them just needs to stay home today. Let's do Brant. I think he can stay. He still has a lot of uh, skill to build before he can even get promoted. And I have been playing Brent is more focused on his career. So we'll do that. And he can just work on stuff for his promotion. No, Fras Bobsel, Chichi, Hish Bibsel Lagoosh. Jace here. We'll work on his skills. Maybe we'll get him some. We'll make him some food that isn't just hot dogs in the fridge when he wakes up. Um, can they take parental leave after adopting a child too? I think they can after giving birth. Yeah, it was kind of strange because uh, it gave me a pop up that Brent got leave because he was the one that picked up the kid. But they both have four days of vacation, so I'm hoping that that just means they both got it. Let me see also. Where is work? Also, hey Simper, how are you doing? Oh yeah, so he has family leave. Okay, okay. Let's do Simper, you must just have joined because we were talking about Morgan Ember for quite a little while earlier on. And uh, I feel like you would have uh, joined in if you heard that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay. That worked for him. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I definitely would have said something. Yeah. Fair enough. What? Man, <laughs> toilet's breaking. I thought. Making Brent not be able to prank the toilets would have solved that issue for me. Rough times. Oh, I had an issue when recording yesterday where my game wouldn't save, which has been happening a lot apparently. Yeah, I don't know if you use Twitter, but like it's all over Twitter that, um, actually let me just replace this without even fixing it. Um, it's all over Twitter that people are having that issue. And the gurus are giving like advice, like the sim gurus are giving advice of like how to work around it. 
um, because they know that it's an issue and they're trying to work on fixing it. But, but also like I was it made me even more unmotivated to play The Sims because I was so worried that was going to be the case for me. I haven't recorded my episode yet that I have to drop for Wednesday for the transgender challenge because I was like if I do all of that then it doesn't save I'd be so annoyed because I saw like they were saying like people were being like just save from the managed worlds and it works but then some people were saying like when they did that it said that it saved but it didn't actually work like when they it'll say like oh it's save complete whatever and then you exit out and then you try and load and then you lost all your progress so it's like oh I don't know. Stressing me out. Actually, related to that, maybe I should see what my neighborhood stories have been up to in this game. So I don't understand. Like, why can't I just click it once and then have it show me every single one of them? I know they're probably refining this, so it's fine. But I just uh... okay. Nothing has happened. Already. Okay, so there's not too much actually going on here. Let's see. <laughs> What Bernardo Christian Christensen? Don't know who this is. The landscaper. Good for them. The Rosoya household recently adopted a child. Wow, I wonder if that was Raj or his mom. Huh, oh, Knox congratulating us on the adoption. That's cute. Oh, the baby was adopted by the Scott household. Nice. Oh, Rosie wants to go for a walk. Can we walk you? I guess we can. I hope. Maybe we'll go for a jog. I'm assuming that doesn't count as leaving the kid alone. Uh, the Fuji household has... Uh, ew, detective career. Gross. <laughs> Why are you becoming cops out there? Land grab household recently adopted a dog. Hmm. Not as intense as I thought it was going to be. Man, watching... Um, is it K-Wire? I don't know if I'm supposed to say Wire E because there's a bunch of E's at the end of his username and all the stuff that happened in his neighborhood stories I was like getting ready for like a hundred babies to be adopted. Um, something to do with cakes in my wedding stories. Yeah, I saw that the workaround was about not doing cakes at the weddings and then also unchecking find a career. I was thinking maybe neighborhood stories because I don't have my wedding stories. There's also an article on the Sims community for the possible workarounds. Oh, nice. Yeah, Sims community is very helpful. <laughs> Lucy's been binging Simber's videos, as everyone should be doing. <laughs> um, yeah, when I saved from Manage Worlds, my game spontaneously skipped four days. The heck? Like it was just four days later for no reason. That's so funny. I hope it's Raj. Um, I also hope that it's either Raj because he wanted kids or it's uh, the mom because she's like, you know what? I'll just adopt a kid and consider them my grandchild and raise them because I know she wants kids in the bio. Um, I haven't been playing the game like at all, but the new neighborhood story seems like it kind of needs some tuning. Is out of control with kids. Um, I like seeing all the pets people adopt. I think it's my favorite part. I worry about the kids because townie sims are horrible parents. Yeah, it's like weird. Even for the pets though, like what stresses me out and I don't- What the hell is that? Oh, it's a, it's a cat in a hoodie, which is just stinking a lot. <laughs> I was like, what kind of plant is that? Um, but like, yeah, what stresses me out is like, does it give the new households the, the pet food dishes in there? Because like, I know that the autonomy for sims in general like the ai doesn't make them take care of pets so it's like how on earth does that work when like they're adopting pets and they don't even have the food dishes and same with like kids like they'll like have like 17 toddlers and like no toddler bed and stuff like that um yeah i feel like you gotta get home and maybe make some real food for your kid though i, I don't want his first meal here to be uh <laughs> to just be hot dogs. Oh, you're so stinky. This cat's cute. Oh, I'm falling down the bridge. <laughs> that was weird. Um, um, stinky cat in a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, okay. But also take the leash off. You're good. See you later, Rosie. <laughs> good luck out there. Why is he walking like the snow's really deep? Right? Or like, what's that? What was that? <laughs> what kind of walk was that? Interesting. 
Um, but actually, when my game skipped forward for it is, I went to manage what to give Ian and Derek a cat bowl and stuff because they adopted a cat. And when I came back, it was four days later. Weird. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. Like you go, you try and go shopping for one item, and all of a sudden it's four days later. Um. Uh oh, he's waking up. He's angry. He also is gonna use the pony soon. Is it? Oh yeah, we have a high chair. Wait a minute, you don't even have to cook everything. Okay, put all that down. Let's do it. We got this. Put him here. Oh, is powerhouse like a gym thing? I think it is, isn't it? We'll say yes. Okay, well, no, we can't. We got a kid now. He's waddling over here. He's ready for the food. Okay, wait. Let your dad pick you up. Uh, your dad, who's incredibly smelly. This kid's definitely going to use his diaper again, but I feel like it's more important to feed him. <laughs> Alright, give him food. Um, applesauce, right? Ham and cheese sandwich. What time is it? It's noon? Peanut butter and jelly. No! <laughs> Dang it! Come on! Brant, please just feed the kid in the chair. Rosie also needs food. Okay. Well. We tried. Sorry, kid. Just eat it off of there. Yeah, it's rough. Okay, just grab it. If you need me to, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. This game's working totally how I want it to. Okay, let's make this for later. Um, I guess that's where Dream Home Decorator come in. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, that's what I want. I Especially when they move houses, it's just like, you gotta redo the whole house then. Um... That Strangerville family, I played as them and just like had them have kids, but then I think they either had twins or triplets in the game I was playing, and then I noticed their house is not equipped to that. And then so I was like, oh, I'll take their house as like a reno project, but then there you can't expand the room, so it was just like that one tiny kid's bedroom, and I just put like double bunk beds um, for all the kids that they had at the moment. Um, yeah, he's using his diaper. Sorry, kid. We gotta work on your potty training. I guess you can potty train them even if they don't have to go to the washroom, because we're gonna have to do that with him. <laughs> I suck go to work, like <laughs> telling your toddler to go to work. Um, let's do... Let's clean him up, though. Rajan uh, Gita's family bio is too real, like the realize <laughs> He also has got, but it's gone too far. Um... Yeah, I thought that was interesting. It's like, you know, like culturally, I feel like this game tries to like err on the side of like ambiguous, but I feel like with uh, San Maishuno in general, they had some like pretty on point cultural things, especially that bio of like family pressure and stuff. Um, for what I can assume is like a Sikh family because of the fact that the dude wears like a, a turban and stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting. Okay, you, go shower. <laughs> this is why people don't use high chairs. Yeah. Also, why is he still smelly? I just uh, changed you, did I not? Or is it just a cloud over there? No, the cloud's following him. Oh, I thought toddlers could use this. It's just kids, huh? Well, let's, um, this is in the fridge for you later. And I want you to work on thinking. Oh, well, you want to bop to music, so that's fine. Or Bob. Bob? That was Bop. Nope, oh, Bob. Oh, too cute. Mm. Every time I try to record, actually, this is what I wanted to happen, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's the entire transgender challenge videos that I make. It's like, Abby's gonna end up with this. Oh, no, just kidding. That sim ditched him, and now there's some random at the bar that he's making out with. I guess that's his new love interest. It's fine. Um, okay, sorry. Nope, not the calendar. I'm trying to click on your dad. C can we change your diaper again, I guess? Go talk to him. Yeah, like, why are you still smelling? We just changed you. Oh, now there's changed diaper. Okay, okay. That's my bad. Um, Gita is really 
fun to play with because her career she can Speed leave up. scathing reviews on everything she eats and drinks oh i haven't done that with her i may i might have retired her when i played because um for me like i put raj and salim together and then they have three kids right now and i think i made her like a stay-at-home grandma um for them since i know she was the one that really wanted grandkids anyway but i want to leave scathing reviews that's fun all right nox you had fun with mickey or me mika i don't remember how we said we should say this person's name my bad my bad good for you nice love that you just threw that diaper onto your dining room table that's great did that fix you you're not smelling anymore dude good yeah, he's doing good with the the movement stuff but let's i know he doesn't have to use the washing but let's try and potty train him since I'm failing miserably every time he has to use the washroom. Drobus Varric? Ah, um, sure, sure. my two uh, city living faves together. I love that. Um, the credit career is fun. I haven't done it at all. I should probably do that. You can click on other Sims to make them select to go to work. It's a very strange way to do it. Yeah. Um, an adult has to build on the table first. Then a toddler can play with it. Oh, so they like start it, and then the kid can kind of finish. It. What? Who's this? I don't know who either of these sims are. Yes, romance is in the air. He's a romance sim or romantic or whatever. I feel like he'd be all about matchmaking. I missed the last 15 minutes trying to get my kids to go to the store. Did I miss anything? Um, I mean, I finished, I don't know when 15 minutes ago was because I'm bad with time. I finished the bedroom for the kid and then moved all the office stuff up here or the paint studio stuff up here and then um this kid went to the washroom in his diaper diaper twice because i dropped the ball completely and that's pretty much it and i decided that branch is the one who would be taking the family leave i think that's all you missed um gita is too similar to people i know I irl and i just move raj out because i can't with her <laughs> fair enough let's see takes a while eh? play with nesting box i feel like this guy already like wants to do his own learning without even needing help all right let's clean up a bit out here oh he's so cute what? you have to go to the washroom too rosie <laughs> I think you can. Am I supposed to make him watch his parents and then it goes better? I just watched um, James Turner do his uh, the Too Many Toddlers challenge. I don't know. The hack is to use this one for imagination, and I think people in the comments are saying, "What? Oh no! <laughs> He's just trying to follow, and it's not going well." Oh. He's like, Dad, wait, <laughs> I've just gotten down here. Now he's going to have to go back up to go watch him. Okay, Brant, come out here. So your son can watch you. Can you do something interesting for him to watch? Maybe barbecue, you love doing that. Oh, oh now he's going to hug the other one. I didn't even notice that uh, Brent got home. Okay, here we go here. Why is Lily Fung here? <laughs> um, also, the slide for toddler stuff for movement is good too. Oh. I only ever struggle with the thinking. Um, oh my god, go talk to him. Because I like refuse to use the tablet, I feel like that's probably a good option to use, but I just think it's boring to watch them sit on a tablet all the time. Oh, he's already hungry. We can come out and eat this grilled fruit together. Oh, I don't think he can sit out here though. Because they can't do picnic tables. Can we do like a little... Um, I don't know why I clicked that. I want like... 
my favorite thing to make them sit on doesn't make sense for being outside, but I really like these little pillows. Um, which obviously need to be in green. So I'm just gonna put pillows out here and see if you'll sit on them. Maybe that looks like there's like, I don't know, cushions for the outdoor chairs. Everybody come outside and eat. Let's see. I don't know, I completely miss some things. I've never played with them when Guido wasn't dead. Oh no. That's like how I watch. I didn't even know that Ian and Derek existed in Cottage Living because every Let's Play that I saw, they had already died before like the person started playing. Oh no, he's not going to sit at the chairs that I made for him. Dang it. All right, buddy, where are you going? He's on the move. Uh, I feel like they should give pre-existing Elder Sims a little more time because they die so quickly. Yes, 100%. I'm wondering if that's why they did the crumble bottoms as undying NPCs. Um, also the slide from, oh no, I read that one. Probably I don't have it though because you can't even make them as your family or anything without it messing up or creating new crumple bottom. Yeah. What, is he going upstairs to eat this? <laughs> All right, I guess we're getting the movement skill from this one, at least he's not starving. Yeah, there's so many dying LGB elder couples. Yeah, even the Greenbergs, eh? <laughs> Where are you trying to eat this, little man? Oh, over here. <laughs> Why? Why did you do this to me, Gabe? Now he's hungry. No kidding. I'd be pretty hangry if I had to go that far just to eat some grilled fruit. <laughs> Um, Panda Sim has a building tower and a xylophone. Oh, they have an xylophone? I liked that from The Sims 2. The thing- Wait, the xylophone? Do I know what an xylophone is? Isn't that an instrument? It builds thinking? Or are you saying the building tower builds thinking? I think at least one of the greenberries has like a long-lived trait, so they usually stay around longer for me. Oh! I don't think I've noticed that about them, but, um... At least one of them's around for you. I mean, it's kind of sad when it's like a couple and only one of them's left. Now where are you going to put the plate? Over here? You're going to put it like right here, aren't you? Um, how come toddlers don't run anymore? At some point they seem to remove that. They run with a higher movement skill. Are you saying they removed it for the higher movement skill as well? I, I mean, this little dude does not have the highest uh, skill, so we're not going to see it from him, but... You can actually use a bath while we're up here. Since he made it all the way up here, we might as well give him a little bath. They both do. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen it personally with higher skill not for a long time. I know sometimes they do the weird glitched movement. Um, but I haven't played a high-skilled toddler in a while, and they were still like running the last time I played with them. I tried to do like the seven toddler challenge. Um, I think maybe in November, and like that was wild. But there was like the ones that I feel like had high movements. I think they were either running or they were doing that glitched walk where like it kind of clips at the end. I don't know how to describe it. Um, what the heck? Brant is expected at work the next shift after his family leave. He cannot take more family leave at this time. You get one day? You get a single day of family leave to spend with your toddler? Also, we just bathed him with sand or flip flops on? Slippers? Oh, teleporting kid. Maybe we'll also try and do the potty skill again while you're here. Oh wow, all of our stuff is breaking. At least we have like over 20, 25k. I'm just gonna buy everything because I'm lazy. And I don't want uh, Rosie to keep licking up the puddles. Ah, chul, chul. Thank oh my gosh, Rosie's like, I need a bath too. Why are you neglecting me now that you have this new kid? Oh, rough. Poor Rosie. 
Lily, what's up, dude? Strange that she's visiting twice, I wonder. What's happening in her life? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, the potty skill goes up so much faster in this game compared to The Sims 2. I'm in heaven right now. Like, potty training in The Sims 2, I don't even understand it because it's like, if you have aging on, by the time your kid is potty trained, it's time to age them up. Sometimes it's like one second before. Like, I swear, it's like the day of, I'm like, oh my gosh, make this kid use the potty so that they can get their potty training before they have to age up. So I'm like, what's even the point of having this if they're going to use, like, if you have to train them every single time? And then I think you can read him to sleep. One day when I played with the hecking, Ian was dead and he just, he just come to break everything. Oh, like as a ghost, he came over. Rough. Okay, Rosie's not stinky anymore. Good sign, good sign. Honestly, playing with one toddler is almost relaxing in this game. Seeing as the last time I had toddlers, there were seven of them. And then otherwise I've just been playing The Sims 2. Like, these toddlers are like, it's fine. We made it through a whole day. No issues. Minus him using the diaper too much in the beginning, but it was good. Relaxing even. Maybe I'll try and do the too many toddlers challenge. I'm sad about evilness. Who's evil? Interacting with an evil sim. Back. Inquisitive is an evil, right? Does that mean this kid's gonna grow up to be evil? Or is Lily evil and she was just in our yard so it counted? Oh, maybe we need a. Maybe Rosie needs a bed in here too. Yeah, is Lily? Um, I always forget where the pet stuff is. Why did I think it was in here? Let's get rid of this giant bed. I haven't even seen her use any of these beds, so I don't know why I'm bothering. <laughs> but uh, what's a good color? Oh, what the heck was that? I clicked a button I didn't mean to. We put it here while she sleep there, hopefully. Uh, you talking about The Sims 2 makes me really want to look into downloading it. It's a slippery slope though, if you do download it. And I don't know how people do it um, because I have the uh, I have the origin version of it, but I know that there's ways to get around that. She's unflirty, hates children, and materialistic, I think. No, but she hates children. Would that be why Brant doesn't like her though? I wonder who that was from. All right, why am I going single speed through the night? Hey, he's doing really well. Okay. Oh. I mean, maybe that's it. My toddler will be doing perfectly fine, but the parents will be suffering. Um, oh, I also offer Rose. It's not like a good holiday coming up. I want to do TV premiere. Ooh. Brant, are you doing? Okay, so I think they both should have today off. They do. So we can go out as a family, maybe. I don't know how easy it is to go out with toddlers. I don't think I've ever even attempted it. She sounds like a girl boss. She really is, I think. She's got her priorities straight with the unflirty and the materialistic together. Hi, hey Teresa, how are you doing? 
Did unflirted come with city living or something? Seems like a lot of city living townies come with it. That's true because Darling, Raj, and uh, Lily all have it, right? I think it came with base game though. And then I'm trying to think if there's any base game sims that have that. Oh, it did come with city living. Huh. Even now? But why? Oh, I guess it's the romance festival? Originally so did vegetarian, but they moved that to base game. I guess that makes sense because a lot of food game with city living. That's so weird. I always forget how. Maybe I should try playing with base game at some point and just see what that experience is like, because Oh, look you look who's making coffee again. <laughs> Who knew cities were so ace friendly? <laughs> I mean, they are. <laughs> Actually, are they? I don't know. I think that the dating scene is like a little bit more prominent in cities. Like, being ace in uh, cottage living seems like a good place to do that. Um, oh, these two are so cute. What else do you want to do? Declare weather per. Are you sick? No, don't be sick. It's your day off. I don't think you need coffee though, bud. Okay, wake up. I'm so excited for him to wake up. <laughs> um, let's do... One of you can help him on the potty. And then he can eat and then we can go out. Where do y'all take toddlers? Maybe I should have made like a toddler. Maybe I'll make a toddler thing. Oh, he's only gonna be a toddler for so long, but part of the gay village. We'll add some toddler park or something. I forgot to bring my notebook in here. Whoops. But it could be good because there's at least um I know that we have our kids still with the Tinker and uh and Gato family, so um Um, I think I should head to bed now. I almost fell off the chair. Oh no. Yeah, good night, Emily. Uh, maybe more so than a small community where everyone is nosy about your dating life. Oh, that's true. Oh my god, no. It can be fun, but after three weeks of nothing but base game, I was so bored. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try. Um, for anybody who... Uh, missed me saying this earlier. I'm gonna build out Newcrest in this as a uh, gay village is my goal. So if anybody has any builds that they want or that they feel cool with me including in it, let me know for sure. Because otherwise it's gonna have to be a building stream. And we just saw on this stream that me building is like a whole whole thing and that was just one room. So you can only imagine me trying to build whole venues. Um, so maybe, um, so yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, cause right now we just have the um, cafe there from uh, Bob Smith, who did that. And then I have a build that I just found on the gallery so that we could have a restaurant for like dates, but I wanna do, I wanna redo it so that we have um, more like, and when I say like a gay village, it doesn't mean like everything is rainbow <laughs> all of a sudden. I just mean like, you know, Different vibes, that's all, that's all. What am I trying to do? Put up food. Wow, I've played The Sims for 24 hours. I'm a real gamer now, huh? Um. Okay, this is the toddler run thing, and yeah, it still works. You have to click run here. Oh. I guess they don't do autonomously to move around as much. I thought it was gone. I didn't know that there was a run here option anymore like i liked that oh my god this kid loves eating at that one couch you can't go over there bud maybe i should have put the food over here so that he wouldn't try and go upstairs i don't even know if we'll be able to oh it's also freezing maybe we can go to sulani with them i guess we'll go to the beach um i did sims completely off this laptop this morning downloaded just base game in the 
the five kits I bought, like my sim, I created so much that is okay. He's wearing nothing but Carnival. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. The fashion and base game and the hairstyle is like, well, I guess they've been porting a lot of stuff into base game, but the original stuff would be a bit rough. Um, you can include any of my builds. I think most of the gay venues I've built have been shell chainless, so they might be weird shapes though. Oh yeah, true. What's your, Simber, is your um, gallery ID just the name Simber? I can look, I'll look on your YouTube channel too, so you don't have to worry about it. But uh, I'll stop drinking all this coffee, guys. You just have to go to the bathroom all the time. Um, okay, I think we're ready. I think we're all good. This kid just needs to get dressed. Maybe we'll bring a toy because he needs missing fun. You can play this one, right? Let's just bring this robot. Because so I'll be okay if you accidentally lose it. All right, let's head out to the beach. My ID is Raining Embers. Okay, I will check out. Because I have watched your videos on those um, shells and stuff. But maybe also, like, if you do have a shell, then maybe I'll just edit from there and that might give me an easier time building. Brent just became acquaint acquaintances with Snugs. Who the heck is Snugs? Okay, wait. I need more information about Snugs. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this cat? Can we adopt him or do I have to become friends with him? Should I adopt Snugs? <laughs> this is a very rash decision. Okay, wait, let me just... Hold up one second. Um, I find it so hard to make shells for venues. Yeah, exactly. I like that idea. I was thinking of playing my Sims in Newcrest where I control uh, Rose... Uh, Rosalyn, and every time she gets a promotion in politics, I spin a wheel for commercials or residential on. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So you're like playing it out as like that one sim is like the mayor kind of developing and stuff. The area, I like that idea. It'd be fun. Oh my gosh, what is this cat? What? Did I not just get this pop up like seven times then? Okay. Let me just just testing. Just cheating because I don't. Will you let me? Should we adopt a cat? We just got a baby. Snugs, yes. There's a yes for snugs. Um, I usually put it in the description of videos where I upload the build in the gallery. You should check if it's in my bio though. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm just bad at the gallery, which is why I'm asking, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, I think I'm gonna, oh, I don't know, I'm on the fence. Well, I can just add her to the family later, or her, him, whatever. It's, you know, it's very important not to misgender cats. What's your deal? Okay, whatever. You're distracting me, Snugs. We gotta go. Aloof. Uh, let's go to the beach. Where is Sulani? There you are. Can toddlers be put on the swings? I feel like no. I just laugh every time I see Nancy as an enemy in here. It's great. Um, should we bring the stray cat with us? I liked the the cats and dogs trailer where Brent and Brant had a cat and a dog. Like they had Rosie and they also had a cat. Like I really liked that idea. Um, I was surprised that they um, got rid of the cat in the end. I mean, it makes sense that they're just like, you know, hecking and named after dogs and like super into dogs, but like, I don't know. I like the idea of like, I don't know. I just like the cat and how saucy it looked in the trailers. <laughs> All right, we are here. What can you do here, kid? Can we push you on the swings? I don't think you can do anything, can you? Nah. That'd be cute if they had the little toddler seat that they added on. Oh, is Rosie gonna like go to the washroom at the beach? Okay. What? You did not come here to play cards with the kid. This kid's a little too good at wanting to learn. <laughs> They're also like all in their. Well, he's in his winter bear still. 
we got, what we got. Oh, well, we're peeing on the beach. Thanks, Rosie. Can we mop that up? I'm gonna go for a little swim. Oh, you know exactly why we need to bring this kid, because I want to see him... I want to see his little water wings that he had. I thought he could play in the water. It's not like deep, right? Play in open water sounds real friggin' suspicious. Oh my gosh, this is good. There's our guy. Yeah. I love toddlers. <laughs> so good. Ew, Rosie, why are you so nasty? I'm gonna send you home if you keep doing this. Stop playing in your own pee back there. They just like go back and forth, is that what it is? Oh, they like sit down. Yeah, play with him. <laughs> or watch, yeah, that's probably a really good call. <laughs> Yo, Rosie, stop being a little nasty over there. Oh, there's my boys. There's the squad. <laughs> I love these sequels so much. Also, proportionally, I like their size compared to Rosie. Um, wait, they're named after dogs? Oh yeah, yeah, they are. They're named after like hecking is because of the the dog memes where dogs say hecking all the time and then I guess there's like some Twitter dog account where the guy's name is either Brent or Brant and then somebody gave accidentally called him the wrong name. What happens when she chases them? I feel rude doing this to the poor seagulls, but I want to see the animation. <laughs> Work. Oh, jeez. Oh, all right. She just barks and they fly away. It's not as cute as I was expecting. They're just staring. <laughs> like, can they not get down there and play with him? Oh, Rosie's trying to. Yeah, maybe Sandcastle together. No, oh, I didn't even realize. Wow. Yeah, no, I like I didn't notice until I was uh, like looking. I was just like researching the different like LGBT Sims or whatever, and then I was like reading all their little bios because I didn't I didn't watch Sparked for a very long time, and then I decided to just check it out because it was on YouTube, right? And I didn't realize that the Greenbergs were like made by um, English Sivers team in Sparked. And I didn't notice till I read the Wikipedia page that said that and I was like, oh, maybe I should watch Sparked and then I did and then yeah, it's like interesting. There's a lot more story and behind the, I was gonna say lore and then I'm like, mm, maybe not. There's a lot more story behind some of the decisions made for these Sims. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, they became good friends! Cute. Making a little gnome. Alright, Lily, what was up? Uh, we've been thinking about trying for a baby, Lily. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. But Lily, you don't even like kids! Is that why you're, like, lurking outside our house? Um... I watched a few episodes, but it made me anxious, so I stopped. Yo, yeah, Sparked is, like, weird because... Okay, first of all, I'm going to say no is not a good idea. Um, yeah, Sparked is weird because, like, obviously talking in real life in front of cameras in a group setting, like, the way Sparked makes them do it is so different than making YouTube videos and, like, streams. So I don't know why they thought that was the best format for this situation. Like... The presenting and stuff and like the way they tried to edit it to like add drama and stuff i was like what's happening it just felt very like i don't know like there wasn't a fundamental understanding of what the community is like um for the game but once i like i just i like sat and i just like i treated it like cringe humor on tv shows and i just like had like i have pillows on my couch and like every time i watch something cringy i just hold the pillow up 
in front of the screen and then i like ignore all those parts and i just focus on like the other parts like the actual like them and their sims but any of the judging i just like mm, look at my phone do something else like whatever um because yeah i can't even imagine like at all like i don't know why they thought that was a good format to make it like a group competition like the way it was and like especially the uh the editing that they did with i forget who the simmer was because i didn't watch her before sparked i think it was no i can't even i don't even want to speculate who it was whoever was on dr gluon's team that they like the editing was like making it look like she was like super angry i was like i don't think she's i don't know i was like that's obviously not what's happening here i feel like everyone's just stressed um anyway that was a weird show I hope that they do it again, but they make it a better format for sure. Um, as if half of Sims YouTubers and streamers don't have anxiety. Yeah, for real. That's like that's what being a YouTuber is all about. Like, that's what streaming is for me. It's like I don't have like, like, especially now during like this whole global situation. It's like interacting with people like in real life stressful <laughs> interacting with people over stream also stressful but for different reasons so it's fine <laughs> um because i feel like otherwise like people who are not anxious in social situations probably don't make streaming alone in their room a priority you know i could be wrong obviously but that's the vibe i've been getting at least from the people i follow what's happening in here is it is that why is that bumping around like that? Is this where they reveal that there is raccoons in this game and one's gonna come out of there? All right, what else can we do? Oh yeah, parenting level two, good job, Brent. And Brent is just digging up stuff over here. I feel like we should have, excuse me, brought a potty chair with us. I probably would have been smart, huh? I was too worried about him not having fun. I forgot about the actual needs that he has. Oh wait, Brant's friend is with Makoa. You guys should talk while you're here. Since you haven't had time for your friends since you got a kid. Also, I just like, how do you play this game without body hair? Like, how do they not have this in the game? Bettino. I feel like if they like, Sims look so hairless without it. I mean, obviously, because there's no hair at all, but it just looks like, yeah, I don't know. Like that's the si one of the simplest ways to make them look like real people. Let's just give them body hair on all genders. Pack your wing. All right, how are we doing? Uh oh. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's like imitating the dog. I guess that's supposed to be. Yes, why? Yeah, right? I don't know why. Look at Layla just like ripping around on her sailboat over here, eh? What else do you want to do? I'm gonna work on your movement skill. This kid's all about the skills. I wonder if that's the whims or just because he's inquisitive. Oh. Maybe we can play with him. Oh, his back's too sore from doing this. Oh, he already got beat up by this kid. Never mind, never mind. We cannot help you with your movement skill then. Um. Don't wait in the ocean with a toddler. He'll get that annoying trait when he grows up. What? Or moodlet, rather. What? I have no idea what you're talking about, Eric. What's it called? What happens? Oh, there he goes using his diaper. Well, let's just throw that diaper onto the beach whenever he's done using it. Zarzub? <laughs> what? Salophobia? What is happening over here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yo, sorry for me being a 10 year old with how funny I found that. But like, just the shock. Um, Yo, where's your kid? 
Uh, Nancy, we're enemies. Why are you calling me? <laughs> Land grab power. Company owner Dudas Girls are going to turn off your power. Are you prepared? Yeah, we're prepared. Nice. Nancy, our enemy is giving us a discount because we figured out her prank call. Oh, uh, Rosie's over here like, mm, I'll check out, make sure our toddler's okay talking to this random man on the beach. Good job, Rosie. Protect the kid. Also, let's change diaper. It's a glitch where they wake up 10 seconds because they're afraid of water. Oh, like hydrophobia or whatever. Ah, oh, kangaroo. And a feb. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought Whoa. Brent was like naked because his garbage bag was covering up his uh, swimsuit the whole time. All right. Well, it's 7 p.m. That was a pretty successful day at the beach. Oh, what's he doing? He's really into imitating the dog. Interesting. All right, family beach day. Wait, did I even get a photo of them? I think I only took a photo of uh, the random interaction with that woman. <laughs> Maybe we can. Uh, uh, Maybe build like one more sandcastle just for the just for the gram. Oh, actually, then Brant can take a photo of it. Did I give him a camera? Which would be even better. Then we can put it up at home. Nice, nice, nice. It's all coming together. Okay. Whoa, that was freaky. I just saw the inside of his mouth for a minute. Cute. Done. Perfect. Gotta go home. The, no, one second. Put them back at home and then I want to read that. The moodlet says, what is the lassophobia from being near ocean? That water looks deep, unfathomably deep, but they're literally be in their bedroom in Oasis Springs. That's because, and it only comes if you play with them in water when they're like a toddler? That's so weird. I would have assumed like paranoid sims or something would be the only ones getting that in this game. Anyway, um, I think we can put them to bed at this point. Or they could all have dinner together. If it even works out. Um, okay, you put the kid there. And maybe they'll just have fruit salad for dinner, as as people do. Am I gonna be able to do it? Am I gonna do the unthinkable and have a family dinner in The Sims? Let's see. Is this? Oh, good for you <laughs> and your nice date that you went on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Step one. Also though, this is very cute that they have like the same little green for their winter wear. He's making a funny face right now, this kid. Cute. Okay. And then grab a serving for the kid. Yibsy. <laughs> Uh oh. No, no, no. 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 Don't take him out. <laughs> Rome was there. Four. What are you kidding? <laughs> okay, it's fine. What? Did I just accidentally put in the kids' inventory? I swear. We're gonna do it. We're gonna eat a nice fam. Branch, you're already done eating? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Please, no. No, kid, just stay in there. Please, please, just eat the fruit salad. Everybody sit down. 
Come on. I need the wedding functionality of like, take your seats everybody, but for regular dinners. Come on. I don't know, maybe you're eating two salads at this point. Brand no, sit down and <laughs> just stay seating. At the very least. Maybe ask him about his day. The kid's already done eating. It's the f Is it because it's fruit salad? Is it just like the fastest food to consume? Well, we tried. We we certainly tried. Yeah, whatever, take the kid out, I don't care. <laughs> Let's just read him to sleep. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Don't ask your husband about his day. It doesn't matter. The opportunity's gone. His call to Oasis Springs. Maybe they just got confused. Yeah, scared of the springs part of it. <laughs> Damn you, Brant. Uh, get the more consumptions for meals mod. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye, good dog. Nice. Oh wait, Chen, not Chen. Chen. Um, more consumptions. This is a full-time job. That's why we need a, a daycare job in this game for sure. You know, it's been wonderful spending time with you. We've made some great memories. What a strange way to talk about your kid. <laughs> Is it just closer by happy memories? Growing closer from quality time and adoring. Too cute. Okay. I think we can put uh, the photo. Oh. Hmm. I want specifically just the photo. I thought there was a way to like open the stack of these and like select it. I literally just had to drag every single one of these out. Nice. 100 Simstagram pet photos. <laughs> Press the number. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So much better. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Can I just sell all these actually? I don't think I need this many photos of Rosie sitting on the couch when I was trying to make her Instagram famous. And we'll keep this photo of Jeffrey Lee and grab up. Maybe that's why Nancy doesn't like us. <laughs> we just have a photo. Oh my god, we can admire it because he's an art lover. Perfect. Um, let's just do a black frame for these. And oh my gosh. What should we just do wooden? Oh my god, that's a horrible photo quality. Quality poor, dang it! <laughs> Come on, Branch, just be capturing happy memories of your family. <laughs> um, you know, it's probably realistic for eating with a toddler, seriously. I'm assuming nothing goes proper when you try to eat with a toddler. Um, oh, their kid's name is Bryant, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, I actually, um... We did like polls for this, so uh, people chose that it was going to be a toddler for the age group. And then when we did the adoption, there was a baby who was named Bryant in the selection, but we already chose toddler. And then uh, we chose this kid and his name was uh, uh, Jace. So then we just did like a vote between the two and they were pretty um, tied. And then Bryant ended up pulling ahead at the last minute. So we just left both. Um, so we can be like BJ is his nickname. Um, but yeah, kind of treating like Jace like his middle name, but obviously this it's the Sims, so there aren't middle names. But yeah, thought it was funny. It was gonna be, and if the Sim was like their daughter, then they were gonna do, we were gonna do Briar instead. 
which apparently works with the name Rosie, which I didn't understand because Briar and Rose are a thing. But yeah. Anyway, let's go. To the, can you please go to the bathroom? <laughs> Sir, before you wet yourself. And then sleep. Let's see. They're both supposed to work today. I think instead um, we'll do a vacation day for Brant and then he can work on his fitness. Oh, I forgot to watch TV today. Dang it. <laughs> I'm also wondering how many days of winter are left. Oh, we're like right in the middle of it. So even if I played them for two sim weeks, it would be still. Briar Rose comes from Sleeping Beauty. How do y'all know these references? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, he's dancing. Cute. Ugh. How many times do I misclick when I try and get the phone or the calendar down here? So, vacation day, where you at? And then we can just start him out with a workout. Endurance. I only know that because I've been studying reading fairy tales for folklore and fables for the past maybe five years. Oh, like the original, like stuff that inspired them? Or like legit uh, Disney stuff. What's your deal? Three in two hours. It's supposed to be painting. I think you have time to paint. Let's do. Yeah, I think pop art is still our best hope to get something suitable for the kids' room. Brant, I can't believe how bad your photo was that you took, <laughs> like, so blurry. Does it only do that on the camera, I wonder? Because I don't think I've ever gotten a cell phone photo that looked that bad. Oh, and Rosie's so smelly. Okay, Rosie, we can't neglect you just because we have a kid now. Where are you, are you? Uh, just in general, but yeah, mostly originals and their origins, reading obscure fairy tales from around the world, etc. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've seen movies based on like other folklore stuff, and it's pretty interesting. Especially like either seeing like parallels in what different countries ended up having as like their. Well, I mean, when it's the case of like fairy tales where it's supposed to be like morals passed on to children, it's like interesting to see like the contrast, but then also the similarities of some of the stuff culturally that they were trying to pass on. This is, oh, it's like an eye patched character. This is cute. This works. I think this works really well for the kids' room. Nice. Oh. Oh no, he doesn't like the Brant did not like my clutter choice of putting the rubber ducky near the bathtub. <laughs> he says, absolutely not. This goes in the toy chest. <laughs> All right, he's awake. Uh, imagination skill. Man, he's like putting all them away. No, don't put all the sh <laughs> No, this is clutter. This is on purpose, Brant. Please, no. <laughs> no horror. <laughs> Rude! He doesn't like my decorative choices. Now my shelf is gonna be empty. All right. How are you, why are you sad? Oh, sad from uh, Brent going to work. That's a little bit. I'm gonna go play Stardew Valley with my girlfriend, but this was fun. Nice. 
Have a fun time. I love multiplayer Stardew Valley, but it's so rough to try and get somebody who's as committed as you, so... I'm a little bit envious that you have somebody that'll actually sit through building a farm with you. <laughs> That's what dating is all about, right? Finding somebody who will also do a committed Stardew build with you. He's still obsessed with eating up here. I wonder if we should put like... Maybe I should just delete the couch while he's a toddler. Or... Uh, roll bath. Uh, it's been a while since we've been able to play together, but we're getting back into it. Nice. Man, I feel so bad for Rosie. Like, every time we give this kid attention, I feel like Rosie's, like, missing out. I mean, she's stuck in the bathtub right now, so she's kind of involved. That bath didn't even work. Is it working now? It's working now. Okay. Maybe Rosie should meet friends. Oh yeah, like a play date or something? Or if we got... <laughs> and I was gonna say another dog and there's like some wild poodle just running around in a sweater out here. Maybe should we get another dog for Rosie? So they can hang out together? But I think- oh jeez, this kid's trapped in the bathtub. Great, great, great. Let's take her for a jog. Because I was thinking maybe like the kid would give her company, like they would help each other out. But I don't think she's enjoying just having this kid imitate her all the time. She wants a little bit more attention than that. Man, these sims are just going through walls, huh? <laughs> Okay, that's working now. I'm so glad that this kid is level 2 potty so that he can go do his own thing. <laughs> then we can just get him to play. Get his thinking up in the cabinets. Movement level 3 already. Nice. You can now walk faster and dance to music. Love that. What's happening? Oh, he's taking a bath. Okay. Let's see what's happening in the neighborhood, too. Work. Um. Jacques Villarreal retired from the boss boss career. What's the boss career? Huh? Is that supposed to be like business or the criminal career? Um, the Nishidaki household adopted a baby. Zigworth recently adopted a toddler. That's the Zigworth family is the one I was talking about where their house is so small. Um, Dustin broke, left his job as senior manager in the business career. Okay. Uh, the Bergson family recently adopted a dog. Nice. Good for Elsa. <laughs> oh my gosh. And a baby was adopted by the Bergson family. Nice. Dog and a baby on the same day. Bold choice. Bold choice. What the heck? <laughs> Brant wants to woohoo in a bush. I feel like you live in the wrong area for that. Toddler play date. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know. You don't have to know anybody, right? That's a good idea. Let me, uh. You don't have to know that family to do a play date with them, from what I recall. I can just, uh. Oh, it's painting. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I was thinking we do the same height. Then 
This one. Oh, actually, it should go. Oh, that is definitely not the same height. <laughs> Put a frame around this first. Oh, it's not off by too much. I think it's just the one to the left. Okay. Whatever, we won't see it too much. The boss career is the highest part of the criminal career. That's not the local branch. So that's interesting. I thought that they would have considered it like I thought they wouldn't announce the title. They would just announce like the career, not at, like a branch level, if that made sense. Um, but yeah, if we try and do a play date, I'm wondering. First of all, do we even want to invite that many toddlers over into our house? Probably not, but let's do it. That's social brain. Toddler play date. Okay. Host toddler. Okay. Dang it, we do have to know them. So Brant has to know the toddlers? I'm assuming. Um, does it, is it Brant has to know them? Or does, I'm assuming that the other toddler doesn't have, like our toddler doesn't have to know them. I'm just, uh, sorry, I'm gonna eat some raisins. <laughs> I didn't plan to stream this long today. I even started this saying, don't worry everyone, it's gonna be shorter this time. Meanwhile, it's the building. The building always takes so long. Oh dang it! Their kid is a baby. Who adopted the toddler though? Oh, Zayworth. All right. All right. Why does it say Alex is the only one home too? Suspicious. I think this is gonna be cute because he's adopted too. Or, well, actually, I don't know what the pronouns of this sim is yet, but this uh, toddler was also adopted. So, in theory, they might have known each other um, at the same, like, orphanage or whatever it is. This kid is very pale. Uh, <laughs> and don't mind me, guy. I'm just uh, introducing myself <laughs> only to your new adopted child instead of you. Maybe we should say hello. Uh, does it come with this toddler stuff pack? Um, I don't know. Probably. No, probably uh, maybe base game. I'd have to Google it. I don't actually know. Hey, great, we killed it. Now. What am I doing? Okay, well, let's. Oh, yeah, let's stop back. Okay. Actually, I guess that makes sense because the image had the, the play sets that are from that, I believe. Why am I even making this an event? Can I just drag my kid over here? But I want to see what this is like. I've never tried.
No, we don't even invite the parents, eh? I thought I was gonna make the dad come. It's funny. Ooh, it's so sunny in my house right now. Poor placement. They didn't account for the fact that your toddler likely isn't meeting any other toddlers. You know. Oh, looks like Jess came. So the parents do come. Which is interesting because we don't even know Jess. We only know the dad. Have them listen to the stereo at the same time. Talk to a toddler. All right. Oh, wait, can we like introduce them so they're not so weird about this? What ask about another sim? <laughs> what is this toddler? Can we do it? I want to see what this kid thinks of Nancy. Fribble Narshko. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Brand is like, you're no help. I wanted to talk bad about Nancy. <laughs> That's so weird. Why do they have that option? Um, can we tell a group story? Yeah, let's tell them a story. What, Muko is here? Because toddlers don't spawn anywhere without moments. Oh, they don't even go to the park with their parents, eh? Oh. Embarrassed. Why are you crying, little dude? Stranger danger. No, this is like your bud. Oh, Brent got a promotion. Nice. Aww. This play date's not going great. Jess, can he maybe be a part of this a little bit? Global Banfa Saquinario. Bimesa. Glaffy Flazzle. Did that work though? Can you talk to each other now? Omiva Dota Vepi, Pomeray Quas. Brand is just telling this story and the kids are just like, nope, I'm good. I was talking about superheroes. Oh. I'm scared for this kid who's like wearing shorts in the snow with freezing temperatures. Can I try and get everybody to go inside together? Nope. Lily. Lily's trying for a baby again. No. <laughs> Okay, let's try and do a group. Oh, I guess we don't know this toddler, so we can't add them. Come on. Okay, nobody listen to your story, Brant. Sorry, bud. And then, everybody go in here. So nobody freezes to death. And I think we're out of food. It's the fruit salad, so perhaps you can just do something quick. Oh, and we can start with the Legos. Uh huh. Yips. Yo, wait! I just missed him going through the dog door. I wonder if the other kid will take that way. Come on, Alex. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I like that. Okay, that's enough. Now you can build, right? 
I don't know if toddlers can die from heat and cold. Yeah, I, I hope that they cannot. Oh, I guess Jess was dressed for the outdoors. So maybe they would have been okay. It's weird unless you actively choose to meet new friends, they meet no one and never choose the option because it brings down their performance bar. Oh. I always force my kids to be A students because I'm boring. I always do the meet new friends at school. Um, because I feel like no matter what I do, even if I've tried to make them bad at school, there's like no way to make kids bad at school unless you like make them skip. At least that's how it feels. I don't know. I don't think toddlers can die at all, actually not within a month. I was wondering if it's um, not necessarily dying, but being taken away. If they are either left outside in the hot gold or like not given- Oh my god, this kid's gonna go back upstairs to eat. No, but your little bud's down here. It was rough. And the game always shames you for being a B student though, so toxic. <laughs> 100% agree. The little pop-ups that you get is like, we would celebrate how well your kid's doing, but they're actually horrible because they're getting an A- minus instead of an A+. Plus. What, Jaren? Sure, I guess you can come over. Interesting. Is this kid going to eat some salad? No, goes right past the salad. I wonder where they're going. They're so slow at walking. Oh, are they going to use the potty chair by themselves? Wow! Impressive. Nice. Well, in a day it's a meeting teacher parent. That'd be really good. Parent teacher days. I really want to. Um, I really want to try out the mod that lets you go to school. Um, I don't know what the mod is called, but I think I saw somebody using it for their human enough challenge on YouTube. I gotta look into it, but I want to try and use that in the next playthrough that I do. I just haven't had kids in a while. I feel like that's fun. Gay, yay, I'll hail the gay. <laughs> what an entry to make. I second your messages though. Very good. Um, I like having bad grades for kids, but yeah, you gotta skip. Or your kid can get taken away, so you need a mod. Oh, your kid can get taken away for bad grades in this one? Huh. Maybe I've only done it with the uh, teenagers then. I've not noticed that. Are you guys? Oh god! Please don't step in that. Um, are you guys able to meet each other yet, or what? He's, like already asleep and he hasn't. Oh no! Don't bite him. Talk. Just talk. At what point are they not strangers anymore? <laughs> Chase a bird flock from being angry. <laughs> Well, maybe they should have played at the dollhouse together or something. That would have been good. Oh, Jess is waiting for their kid. Come on, it's going well. How are you not friends yet? I guess say hi to Jaren because you invited him over. Oh my god, don't do a sexy pose, what the heck? Did it work? Do they know each other now? They still talk to strangers, is that the only interaction they can get? Just gonna... 
We're cheating. I don't know how I used this, played this game without UI cheats before. Oh, so they do get to talk to each other eventually. There's an MCC setting where you can drop, drop out of school. Oh. I use it for regs to riches and the kids to stay home and fish for a living. <laughs> I said that we can't go to school with our sims like in Sims 3. I did that with MCC, but then when I went into other households, it removed everyone from school. Interesting. Yeah, my next um trans challenge that I do, I think I want to start it out with uh oh nice, we got gold. Uh with a sim that's like in school still. So I gotta look at my mod list for that. Word of this legendary playdate has started to spread. In fact, the fine folks in the marketing department of BAMCO has reached out with a special influencer opportunity. They've provided their all-exclusive jungle gym set and completely free of charge. You'll find it's already been delivered to your household inventory. Why don't you please place it in your front yard and invite all your neighbor tots over to play? <laughs> what the heck? This toddler says, I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. <laughs> wow, what an articulate child. Um. Oh, wait. Sorry, dude. You gotta use the washroom. And then you can go to sleep. You got any moodlets for that, too? Playdate giggles from having a playdate. Cute. And everything else is other stuff. <laughs> BJ is an influencer now. <laughs> yeah, is this gonna like rock star his like his new career? Let's check out this sweet jungle gym. I didn't even notice. I just realized how big their back or front yard is. They have a huge like plot of land. Oh, we didn't even go over here too. Would the marketing people be okay if I put it in the backyard though? I don't want to disappoint them. Jeez, can we fit that in the back? It's so big. Nice. Imagine getting this in the mail for free because they heard that we tried to hang out with one kid. Nice. Oh, sorry, my camera's dead again. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. But I want you to use the washroom before I do. There we go. <laughs> 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 vampire man saying that he's leaving and I forgot that we had him over during the play date. My bad. Alright, Rosie, I would love it if you stopped playing in puddles that you find around the house. That'd be like real great. And now you're filthy. Okay.
<laughs> listening and watching the Tyler go to the bathroom is LOL. Yeah, sorry. I guess I should have left it not in the room where you get to hear the full effect of bathroom. Um, I think I'm going to... I just realized I've been streaming for like a very long time at this point. I think I'm going to call it quits here. I know I usually go to Sunday and it's only Saturday in the morning. But um, I think I need to find a better format for doing this that's not a full week because... That was many hours <laughs> and I, when I just got up to change my camera battery, I realized how sore my back is. Um, but yeah, so thanks for everyone for hanging out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna like think about the format that I wanna do for these streams, which might involve moving some stuff over to Twitch, but I'll let you all know um, what that looks like, probably using like the community tab or something like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for helping me make some decisions around uh, their new son. And I will see you all at the very least, least next week. Um, but I think I might do something kind of special. I say that, um, but who knows? I might do something on Thursday this week. Um, for those of you who do not know, it is um, Trans Day of Visibility on March 31st. So in the first time, um, at first and only time during the year, I will be visible. Usually I am invisible, um, so I might do something to uh, around that. I might do a stream or I might just do a regular video. But yeah, that's it. Um, again, thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you all later.